Patrick Norton, hopefully. Um, more Oculus uh, Euro truck driving. I'm going to drive something this time. And then we'll maybe do some Oculus horror games later on in the morning. Uh, so come back in a little bit. And we're back. Welcome to Octobercast 2013. Norm just did about two hours in the Oculus Hour playing. and 45 minutes? It's a, that, it's a good run. That, like, there's nothing to be ashamed of there. Hour and 45 minutes of I, Oculus. I, I appreciated that you shot for the stars to begin with. But, it, you know, two hours, four hours in the Oculus is too much. The peak of that was trying to park that, the, the truck. That rig, yeah. Parking the rig. Well, that was fun. It's a, it's a good game. Difficult, but fun. Nothing, nothing right. wrong. Nothing wrong with that. I'm killing the old stream now, so there'll be a little bit of overlap. What kind of pizza, what, what kind of pizza do you want? Um, pepperoni. Ooh. Pepperoni oh. and veggie. Oh, oh we got some late night place. Oh, What's wings. that? Wings? Like wings, too. Oh, wings are such a bad idea. I'm going to go get an Oculus while you guys keep talking. All right, okay. Um, right. Norm and I will hold the fort. Yeah, I, I don't know if I can, I can look at the food. And I can appreciate the food. I'm not going to eat the food right now. Oh, you just want to look at the food. All right. I'll eat, I'll eat it in a little bit. Okay. I'm still, my, the, the queasiness is still right here. All right. Yeah, so motion sickness. I, I do get motion sick. Some so people, Will apparently doesn't get motion sick very, very you, often. So you just felt kind of like nauseated? Was that yeah. the only symptom? At some point when driving that car, it, it, was, it was during the second run after trying to park that car. At some point, yeah, let's, get you a, let's get you a napkin or something to put those. You can put them somewhere, yeah. Uh, your, your, uh, your bones, your buffalo bones. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, yeah, I just felt my stomach go, no, no. And it was difficult to focus because I was trying to focus guess in the center of the Oculus screen, even though it covers a lot of your field of view, um, and the idea is that you can like move your eyes around, so you can look, you can shift your eyes to the left and right to kind of glance at the side mirror. It's not very sharp at the very s until you look straight on the very center, and so you really have to move your head around mostly um, to, to to look around the the, ca the cab of the the truck, and. Um, the head, you, that that chewing's kind of loud, Gary. I'm gonna need you to back up just a little bit. The um, your experience definitely put me off wanting to play that game in the ref now. The like you said, for the first 20 minutes it seemed great, but then as I watched you deteriorate, the the Oculus doesn't have translation detection, so while it has rotational movement and you can you can turn your head around as if it was on a ball, mm -hmm. you can't move it forward or backward. Right. Or, which is what you need to do when you're looking out, for example, the side of the window. And so it fakes that by, I turned my head and kind of moved my head out and kind of mimed it and, right. and anticipated that was what I was doing. And, oh, there, that's a lot of popping. Um, no, it's not that one. One to the right. No, no, other right. My, your actual right. That one right there. Okay. Um, th that was very disorienting. And I, I think I said it when I was driving, when the car would, s when I have to stop the car at a stoplight, and the car, the animation gives a little like, you know, like a momentum stop, like mm -hmm. you, you can kind of bump forward and then backward. You don't get that, and that's when I really felt the nausea coming in at every stoplight. So that's why I was trying to maintain this very consistent speed in the middle of the run there. Yeah. Just going very slow and straight. Right. And going as steady as possible. So let's see how Norm does, or how Will does, oh. if he can go longer than 20 minutes. I, I really like the, uh, the wheel, though. I thought yeah. the wheel and the pedal were great. I've got music. Uh, the wheel and the pedal with the, um, I, it, the wheel has force feedback. Right. And I could, um, like, you know, I was driving basically with my wrists and my arms. Didn't need to really drive my hands. I do want to try it, but again, probably not for more than 20 minutes. All right, so Will's loading that up. He can see, kind of see. I am, I'm straight. Oh, up. you're in the car now. The is, that car. What, is that what it looked like? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Are those bats flying around up top there? What is that? Bills. Yeah. I have a skylight. Wow. I'm sure All right, I'm going to turn Will's bats. mic on. Hold on. N now ch talk well. One, two, three, four. You're hey, I now. hear myself. Yep, you're good. I think my, uh, oh, there it goes. I might have to restart the game because the game controller went to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, you've got uh, sound as well now? Oh, hell. Oh. 
function. I gotta breathe, breathe a little bit. It's important to breathe, Norm. I can't. Gary, lean away from the mic when, when eating. Is the only thing. You'd think, you'd think. Talk Those wings anyway, look good, okay? I gotta have some of these wings. Because they, they look really well, good. Well, uh, they sound delicious. Take those. God, this is the worst. I'm gonna take this away because I'm done. I'll be right back. So, in order to do the menus like this, I have to close the right eye when it's on the left side, close the left eye when it's on the right side. It's a real bad experience. Uh, is there a, a keyboard shortcut to just jump straight into driving? I do not know. Mm. Oh man, that's 3D. I don't want that to be 3D. All right, what, well, let's see what you got. Okay, we'll need to, no, that's exit game. Other one. Got it. Okay. All right, now, if you move your mouse to the, right, right continue. there. Yep, there you go. Okay, no, this, is, right, the one, this is the one I can't, no, I gotta get the menu. I can't see the drive button in the lower left-hand corner. Okay. Am I level yet? Um, I big can't round really one. see what you're doing either. It's a big round one in the lower left corner. I, I can't see it. I the might need full screen, full wheel screen. <laughs> oh, yeah, he needs full wheel screen. Because we, we have the split view right now. Okay. Will enter just work? Nope. nope. Huh. If we have someone in it's control fantastic. giving us a uh, full wheel screen. I don't think Joey can hear us right now. Um, can we get full wheel on, on a monitor? We need more wheel. Okay, there we there go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, lower. Uh, okay, to the right a little bit. Got there it. we go. Right there. Bingo. And now we're good. Thank you, Joey. All Thanks, right. Joey. Oh, I gotta hit space bar. Oh yeah, there is a windmill, but it looks like it could be giant, like vampire bats circling overhead. That's more interesting. I like the idea of this as like a like do a horror mod for this. Oh man, I feel like I'm inside a big rig. It's oh my, windshield great. wipers are going. Hold on. Okay. Okay, this is, I've always wanted to be a long haul truck driver. So, that's not actually true. You groom for it. Oh, fuck. There's cables everywhere. That's the only problem with this thing. Oh. Yeah. It got pretty heavy, All right, too. So, what's your, what's your, um, your I'm objective heading, here? Uh, well, somebody left me with a, no gas on the side of the road at the ass end of nowhere. Not naming any names. Well, hold on, but this is a new game, isn't it? You no, know, like, I just picked up his. This you, this name never stops. It's persistent. It oh, looks really? like I'm yellow on fuel. It really is World of Trucks. Dozing. Oh my God. What happened? I was just, I fell asleep briefly, because I don't think I rested. Oh, it simulates you you falling asleep in the game. It said dozing. I I mean, oh wall. I have to say the Oculus is the best way I've ever played this game. Because you can just kind of glance, corner of the eye, corner of the eye. Yeah. Like what we're seeing on the little screen doesn't, wake up, asshole, um, doesn't really capture the full majesty of the experience. No, I mean, it looks pretty, pretty great. I'm definitely buying this when I get home, and I'm it's, definitely going to be playing it with the Rift. It is much better with a wheel than a gamepad. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to go for the full wheel experience, but I can see how that would definitely uh, I help with I the immersion. I wish I could turn off this fucking music. Um, What's the music? It's like some sort of bad techno music. Oh, is it like Euro Trash it's like, yeah, like radio? It's okay. probably like Radio Dusseldorf or something. Yeah. That sounds pretty good, though. You'd think that, but it turns out, no. I wish I had a co-driver. Oh, shit. Is that everybody stopping up here? Well, we're, we're kind of there with you. Oh, wow. Uh, this thing has rad brakes. Yeah, you're up a hill right now. Oh, am I going up a hill? You're going up a slight Oh, hill. wait. I'm asleep again. You gotta stay awake, dude. It's not me. It's do virtual some, me. Do some energy shots. Can I just bulldoze through this? I don't how know. Are you, how are you supposed to counteract that? I'm how do you gonna, not fall asleep I'm in the drive game? Drive on the shoulder for a little bit. That'll wake me up. Look, stoplights. That is not strictly what optional. you're supposed to do. I'm pretty sure that's not. I obeyed all the stoplights. Yeah, Norm was actually playing by the rules. I might have run into hey. one or two cars, but. <laughs> Sometimes you hit a car. Is that where you're supposed to be stoplights? going? Can I just pull over and get back in this? Uh, oh, man, no sleeper. Uh, well, you're going the right way. You following that yellow line? No, I'm, I don't follow their rules, man. You're not... Mm, I, I, I don't like this. I'm feeling very... Norm, I think you might have been going the wrong way. The yellow line's behind. There's an... 
I feel like yellow lines are better than red lines. Boy, this is getting kind of heavy. I feel like the top strap could be tighter. Oh man, that guy's going really fast. You're going really slow. Well, I'm going, I'm floored and I keep reducing gears and it's not doing anything. I think I have too much shit in my caboose. Yeah, you're driving a heavy load. Is there gas up there? Who either is it? Let's say gas. Fifty dollars for you to drive another car. I don't know what's German trucks. for gas. Frankfurt to the left. I'm dozing again. Come on, man. Stay awake. Can you just restart? Maybe, but I probably couldn't see the menu options. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll guide you through it. We can make a new career. I think you should start. My over. guy just yawned again. That doesn't seem good. Oh, do you hear yourself yawning? Yeah, I hear myself yawning. Should I go to Frankfurt or some, uh, Lord Lottich? I'm going to go to Lottich. I don't know. Just, wait, maybe you should go where you're supposed to go. It says to go through this. Wow, that was weird. So the lack of neck tracking is, is the thing that's bad in this. Like, I don't, I don't really get motion sick, but that sometimes will set me off. So we'll see how long I go. I, I bet I couldn't, can't go as long as Norm. This is pretty great. This is amazing. I mean, this really is the future of games. I, I feel like I'm living in the future right now. Yeah. I mean, it's I'm getting to experience us. something that no normal person could ever experience. Driving a big truck through Europe. When I was growing up in Northeast Tennessee, I never thought that this was a possibility, that I could drive a lorry. I feel like I'm really getting the knack of this. What's that weird mirror over there? Oh, wow. Swerve. Oh, I can see my trailer. Uh, the lo-fi screen on the Oculus dev kit is not helping this experience. Yeah, so. I'm, really, I'm really hoping that they, they uh, oh, bring those 1080p again. kits out soon. Oh, that doesn't seem good. Oh, I weighed it. Didn't hit anything. The, my, my bed sign is completely red You now. seriously need to like find a rest stop and pull over and get some... Do you, red have bed? Do you have a bed in that truck? I think so. Yeah, look, there's a little bed cab back there. Well, hell. Pull over and get some is sleep. There, find out what the sleep hotkey is from chat. What's the, how, do you, how do you go to sleep in this game, chat? Let's see what people say. Will's also not following the route. He's, he's going... I go my own way, man. You're going... Uh, you have to find a rest stop. Oh, fuck. I gotta find a rest stop? They're gonna take that truck away from you if you don't deliver those I'm, goods. I'm comfortable with that truck being... Then I get a new truck. Everybody wins. Look at this sweet-ass sweet bridge. We would have never seen this if I stuck to your route. There's a blue square symbol on the map is where the rest stops are. I, yes, I head towards the blue square. I don't square. see any blue square symbols on the map. Oh, you're probably fucked then. You're probably just gonna die. I don't think you can You're die. You're probably going to fall game. asleep and drive off a cliff. Oh. Look. Oh, uh, that was on you, the right now side, you right? Never wake oh, I'm up. grinding. Oh, shit. Swerve. I, I pulled it back in. Get out oh, of the way, little car. Cool. Yeah, look at this awesome bridge. Yeah, that's a hey, good look, looking bridge. Hey, look, you can see it up to the skylight. That too. is amazing. Look at these graphics. What would be amazing if there's like Gran if Gran Turismo was being played on that map while that would you were be playing great. it? And you have these like cars going at 200 miles per hour. That's, the, that, past that's you. the dream future of online gaming. For who? Every, all people. Do we really want that? Are we sure about that? Yes. It sounds cool. Oh, oh I got a blue thing up ahead of me, I think. Okay, there you go. So that go and good. stop in the blue thing. So I can get stimulants get there, some, right? Yeah, you're going to get some, uh, like some five-hour energy shots. Five, do they have Loco Moco or four, five Loco? Four Loco? They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna sell you some uh, Enter the rest stop and press E to enter. I don't see the rest stop. They're going to sell you some I'm illegal the, prescription the, stay awake drugs. I'm at the place. Are you at the I, blue? I didn't see the... Yeah, I was at the blue, and there was nothing there. Oh, shit. You have to press, you have to press E. Oh, that was a terrible time to fall asleep, dude. Oh, fuck. I got hit on that side, too. Also, you got to put your hazards on. Have you come up to the rest stop How the yet? fuck do I put my hazards on? I think I blew by it. I didn't see any... Like, is there oh, supposed to be a pull-off? No, really? Or is it just a place on the side of the road? I think it was just a uh, pull-out. Oh, fuck. I'm going to the right. There's a blue square on this overhead. Turn out. I bet I can go up really fast here. Go really fast here because it's downhill. Upshift. Oh, 12 speeds? Wow, that's a lot of speed. Yeah. Go even, go I was like faster. hitting down six times. I'm like, is, is that enough? Nope. Look at this. I'm going 50 kilometers an hour. 77 kilometers an hour. That seems really fast. Are you playing at a higher resolution than I was? <laughs> it's the same resolution, dude. It's the same. I can't read. I couldn't read any of that. Nope. Can't read shit. Well, because on the, on the Rift screen, it's not as I'm good. interpolating. 72 kilometers an hour now. I do have the benefit of having played this a little bit on a real monitor so I can see it. It's much better with the Rift, though. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. I mean, look it's out, all Look out your world. left window. 
I'm not doing the turnaround thing. That'll make me hurl for sure. Look at me saving fuel. Oh, no. Dozing. I wonder if the steering still works. Oh, that sounds bad. F for hazard lights. Press F for hazard lights. Just anywhere? Oh, I can't see the keyboard. Oh, yeah, you got your hazards on. Now what do you do? And press E while looking at the bed. Look at your bed and press E. Do I have to park first? Maybe. You have your hazards on. I see them blinking. Now look at, your, look at the bed. Hold on. I, don't, I gotta get the keyboard first. And I gotta figure out which button E is. Okay. I don't know why you just don't trust someone else to run the keyboard for you. I can't imagine. T? Press T instead of E? Look at the little bed. Press T. Nope. Nope, chat lied to us. I don't know if that's a bed. This sucks. Uh, I'm gonna. The lights are on, so I got I that. Think, going I for think me. you need a real rest stop. Okay, let's just let's just make a new dude and start over. Okay, and try to stay awake. I know I'm working on it. No chance I'm falling asleep here. Okay, what what am I? Help me drive here, Norm. Okay, can you see it? Anything? Uh, I, uh, I'm going. Joey's gonna swap us to full screen. Okay. There we go. Okay. So quit. You want quit, right? Yeah, quit. So it's going to move your mouse down and to the right. All the way. Keep on going. Keep on going. Oh, a little too much. Go back. Almost. A little more. There we go. That's quit. Now hit yes. Is that hit? I can't see. Oh, you, you, want to you should really let someone yeah. else drive. Okay, well, come get it. All right. It has to be. Oh, my goodness. Jesus Christ. Be careful of wires, Gary. No, there's almost no room here. Give me a sweet truck, dude. What do you want to do? Oh, you quit the game. Yeah. That's, that's not going to do any good. you got to make a new character profile. Okay, I'm going to do that for you. Okay. You're my co-driver, Gary. I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Yeah. Oh, Shit. Jesus. What was that? Everything's falling apart. Everything's falling <laughs> Did you just knock a surface off? Yes. Yeah, that just a shit that's how the Skype works, though. We need that for Skyping. I think it rebooted. Should also. we take some calls while I'm driving? We can't because... Well, the 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 <laughs> Oh, bring me the so, surface. I'll log it no, back No, no, hold, hold on. Uh, sw swipe oh, swipe up. Here? Okay. Continue. 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 Yep. Oh, this mouse is really twitchy. Dude, I don't even want to hear it. Create uh, new. Make, create new. Uh, create new. All right. What, what? Just, can you give, just fill in names and pictures and stuff as fast as you can. Well. <laughs> it's create. Let's go create. Create. Yeah. Yep. Enable all. Warning. I gotta choose a picture. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you gotta do all this stuff. Uh, see those drop downs next to the question mark boxes? Yeah. He's gotta hit those. And click on anything. Yep. Him. I know. That's Will. Go. That, that's good, Will. Perfect. Yep. Middle one. What color? Oh. Red. Go red. All the way on the right. Okay. The orange. Okay, that's good. And then a, a little. Gears. Uh, gears. Blue gears. Fire. Oh, fireball. Red truck, red truck with a fireball. Okay, perfect. Uh, you gotta put a company name yeah. in? Yeah. Company name should be tested. You gotta hit it in the field where you type. There we go. Tested, all right. Brilliant. You gotta put words in there. There you go. That's good. Perfect. All right. Create. There. Woo. Uh, all right. Uh, controllers. Oh fuck. We gotta do all this. Controllers. Controllers. Yep. Uh, real Se automatic or sequential? Do sequential. Oh. We can't do H shifter because we don't have one of those. All right. Finish um, wizard. Okay. I hope the controls are set up right. Wow, that is not at all, all in right. 3D. So oh, God. Uh, pick a city. Ask go the go chat go what the best. Okay, we can do England. It looks just like Germany. Cambridge. Okay. Yeah, do London, because then I have to do all sorts of horrible city driving. That's great. And you wanna, do you want to walk through the tutorial? No. No, 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 no. It's a terrible tutorial. I mean, it's good if you want to learn how to play the game. All right, all right. loading. Oh, wow. All right. Woo. Oh, look, oh, man. gorgeous. London looks fantastic. I want to go to the London Eye. I always see Big Ben in Parliament. Let's go touring. Oh, fuck. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Oh, that's right. You got to sit on the other okay, side. Okay, so you got to hit spacebar to take my parking brake off, Gary. Uh, spacebar. There you go. I am not getting controller stuff. Anything working? Fuck no. Okay, so hit escape. Oh, we got to do the controller setup because right. it's tied to the profile. Can't you just like abandon the career of the character you created? I don't earlier? have any. I've, never, I've not played enough of this game to know. Uh, right, go to options. Walk. Fucking hell. This is great this, content, this is, by the this way. This is really good stuff that we're doing here. <laughs> um, where's options? Options. Okay. 
and then go to controls, bottom thing. And then you should have near the top a thing. Is it gamepad controls, does it say? Near yes, the top? controller 360 okay. uh, keyboard and three. Is, right? is there an option for going through the walkthrough? Uh, input, input wizard? wizard? Input wizard. All right, okay, controllers. controllers. Uh, sequential. Yep. Okay, now and there should be like a setup. Yeah, there advanced we go. Setup? Yep. All right. Okay, so we need to do the steering left and right. So do steering. Oh, I gotta get closer to the fucking screen. Just go sit on the floor, Gary. It's okay. Norm, keep talking. Yep. I'm gonna talk to some right. people in the chat. Okay. Um, steering. Steering. Whew. I can hardly hear you, Gary. So this steering was indeed axis? a hell drive. Yeah. Hit, click on that. I on it. Oh, okay. Did did something happen? Did you have a bar filled up on both sides? Yeah. Okay, now hit the one for accelerator. I'm do it again. No, no, don't do it. Okay. Is that steering? I can't see any of it. Do you want me to just come over and do this? Steering axis. Steering good. Don't change any of the settings except for just hit steering axis. Yeah, I did that. Norm, can you help him with this, please? I've done it. Okay, now, now do the accelerator. Uh, acceleration axis. Okay, hit that. Okay, now go down to where it says underneath it there should be a drop down. Change that to invert um, centered. Inverted and centered. Okay. Yep. Now do the, now do break. Uh, all right. Okay, and that should just be centered. Yep. Uh, now do shift up. Uh, I don't see that. It might be down lower. Clutch axis. Nope. Don't need clutch. There's no shift up. Keep scroll down. There, there is nothing. Use this mouse. Use oh, the wheel. Next. Screen. Next. Okay. Okay, shift up and shift click, on, click on shift up. Uh, just no to the button. Shift. Yes. Just it, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's good. Now hit the one directly below that. Okay, that's good. Hit next. Or okay. Is there anything else there? Okay, good. Well, I'm give you this for a second. So you can type the password in. Yeah, please. Are we good? If you I'm unplug good. it, bad shit happens. I'll just come over and do it. Fucking a. This is a disaster. <laughs> I know. Drive? Uh, yeah, put me someplace good. I'm in London, right? Yeah, Give me a nice. In oh fuck. Okay. Give me a good long route. No, you're just in the truck. And oh, okay. Perfect. I didn't give you a route. Oh, I'm back where I started. Yeah. So hopefully. You I have a route. Hopefully your stuff should work. Looks feeling pretty good about it. I shifted up. I've hit the gas. The car has started. Uh, you need to hit the space bar to take off my parking brake, please. Do you want any more? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take this. Gary or Norm? I got this. I got this. Yeah. Norm? Yep. Is it working? I yep. need the space bar, oh, to, space bar. Space to take bar. off the parking brake. Hit space break bar. On the for our earlier conversation. All right. You get, I've got a snarl of wires here. Okay. Where am All I right. going? Okay. All right. Let's do this. Whew. We're back. Whoa, wait. Oh, what sorry the for fuck? that brief interruption. We still have no, no Patrick Norton? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is what happens when we don't have Patrick Norton. Oh, shit. Backwards is really bad. <laughs> Why the fuck would it start me facing a fence at the end of a car park? <laughs> Assholes. Have you have you driven a car on the other side of the road before? Uh, in in real life? Yeah, once. But it was a car. The wheel was on the right side, so it was like driving a mail truck. But it, but this there was a giant stir on the dashboard that said keep right, so that you didn't forget and fuck up and and kill a bunch of people and head on collisions. You're a goddamn tourist. Okay, so I have to get on this road out here. I think. Is my trailer still back there? Yep, looks good. All right, go. Do I'm going. Something. I'm driving. Oh, off it's, you go. This isn't a race. I'm, I'm a lorry driver. I can turn left on red here, right? I don't even have to, like, look. I can just blast right out as long as there's nobody coming. Just do what you got to do. Shit. Look at me driving. Man, it's weird driving on the other side of the road. You, how long did it take you to get used to it? Uh, well, I only, I didn't drive until I came to the States, so I only ever really was uh, used to it on this side. You don't have really car culture there, right? We have cars. No, no, culture. Like, it's not like a... Like, you're not a person unless you have a car, like it is in many, many parts of the United States. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I think that's just another one of your prejudices at work. I don't think that's true. 
Oh, this is a roundabout, oh, so I have to go gear. left here, right? Top gear's all about cars. Oh, there's the gherkin up ahead. Oh, you really are in the center of London. It's cool. Oh, shit. Way too fast. Too hot. This game is fantastic. I want to drive a truck around London. Okay, I feel... Oh, 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 that's it. Okay, I feel like I navigated that pretty well. You did all right. I used both lanes effectively. Are you actually following the uh, I'm GPS? following the line this time. Okay. I'm, I'm sticking with their fascist rules. I don't know if I can back up with this Oculus thing. It's a little trickier than with the monitor. I do like the GPS floating in space. It's like you have a Google Glass. It is a little like that. Wait, this is... Except for it's better. It, it covers your... It's actually your, uh, in your field of view. Wait, that it, says don't go there. It, it covers your speedometer, oh, though. It does cover... You have to look down. Oh. Man, it's really weird being right on top of the wheels. I feel like my, I got a left turn up here shortly. I, I, don't have a, I don't know how to do turn signals, so I'm just going to do an arm signal. Oh, wait, it's like yeah, this, that'll help. right? Okay, guys. Something... Wait. What the fuck? Did I miss it? What? The turn. You're a roundabout. I understand that. Oh, 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 too hot. Oh, not the fence. Oh, you're not doing oh, good. That was oh, bad. you've crashed into a fence. It's cool. We're good. Nobody Fences saw. Fences are cars' enemies. That Video fence games. Is indestructible. Kind of weird. Truck. I'm really bummed out because apparently Euro Truck Simulator is on a 66% off Steam sale today. Oh. But I can't buy it right Don't now. By the time I get home, the sale the will be app. off. You, you, you might have it already. I might have it already. It's possible. Okay. But I always like Let's to look for those sales. I feel like, like they, I'm supposed to go to that red, big red dot, right, Norm? Yeah. How the fuck do I get in there? It, it'll it, be the end of the, the line. Well, the line's the too small, line. I can't tell now. There's a helicopter up there, holy shit. God, this game is so cool. That's amazing. I think I go in here is where I'm going. Oh my goodness. I'm going to left turn, right turn, guys. Swing what, wide, Is this here where you're supposed to go? Yeah, it was a short haul. This is the tutorial mission. Okay. I just okay. have to back it in. All right. Okay, so, oh, I don't have to back it in in this place. I just oh. swing it around, I think. Oh, well, that's too easy. I don't know about too Norm easy. had to back it in. Backing uh, it I in was the worst. In. Was yeah, the, that was, was, I mean, that was agoni agonizing for everyone yeah. concerned. But it was a lot of fun. Do you feel like that was the most fun you had in the game? That was the most I liked the night immersive driving. part. <laughs> okay. Is that, are you done? Nope, I got to back it up. Oh, you do have to back it up. Oh, nope. Nope. I'm going to straighten her up. When you're playing the game without the Oculus, you can press a button, a shortcut key to get a top-down view when you get close enough. So it lets you straighten up and back up easily into the spot. I'm questioning all my normal trailer driving instincts here. And also, I can't see... Hmm. I can't see the arrows in the Oculus because it's super low resolution. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and get close. Oop, wrong way, wrong way. Back in, bring it back. Come on, come on, big mama. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh. The graphics in this game are actually pretty good. You always think that these, like, truck, train, garbage simulators or whatever are going to be shitty to look at, but the graphics no. are oh, good. Uh, they, they spent time on it. Someone uh, modeled those trees. Yeah, I think I missed by is. like three feet. Yeah, do you want to watch me do it again? Or do you want to move on? I think you should play horror games. Uh, there's plenty of time for horror games. There's no reason to get, all, get, to, to get out too far in front of ourselves. Well, drive your truck some more then. Take it to the, f the freeway. Well, I gotta, I gotta drop this load and get another one. I, I don't think you're gonna be able to That's a really nice steering wheel you have there. This one? Yeah. It's the old Microsoft one. No, I'm saying in the game. Oh. Oh, it is a nice steering wheel. This seemed much easier when you were just telling Norm how to do it. Well, shoot that guy. Oh, I hit a wall. Norm, can you just hit enter? <laughs> Gary can, has the keyboard. Can Gary, can you just hit enter? Pick another mission for me. I can't, I can't, the problem is I can't see the fucking, I can't see where the box is. I'm enter isn't doing in. anything. You just have to hit it once. Oh. It says it's auto parking now. Oh. Oh, it is? I think so. Maybe I'm in the space. Is it showing you how it's done? No, it's not showing me anything. Oh God, there's, not a, there's nothing to lean against. Okay. I'll just park it. All right. Oh, wrong way. 
All my normal instincts. Look at all the look at all the squiggles I've done in the gra in the dirt. Yeah, you here. basically been doing truck donuts. <laughs> I wish. It's like a Chuck churro. Wish I did. It's a long, long uh, line. Nope, nope, that's not it. It's this way. <sighs> I'd like to see someone who actually knows what they do and play this game. Can you try Come pressing enter some more? <laughs> Hey, if you're watching this right now, you're watching Octobercast 2013. Thanks, it's Tom. a podcast for charity. 24 hours. We're into our 15? 15. And a half? 15 and a half hours Feels in right now? Like so much Which longer. means we have nine and a half hours left. Eight and a half hours left, even. It's not all going to be just parking trucks, let me tell you. Um, nope. That sounds like not a lot of time, but... These are the toughest hours to get through. Oh, yeah, they really are. It's always and, darkest. And all the lights are on, which is good in this room, so we don't know exactly what time it is. Uh, we got some food. Um, and we're, we have a lot of people watching right now, so hello to people out there, both on YouTube and on Twitch and on the Tested Chat. Um, Tested.com forward slash chat is where a bunch of people are hanging out, where we're hanging out right now also. If you want to donate to charities, please do. I think we're past 13,000 right now. Okay. We want to hit some, hit some goals. Hit that at least 15,000 in the next hour or two. That would be great. Um, and the, the website to do that is uh, octobercast.com. has links to all three charities. If you want to go straight to charities, it's tested.com forward slash kids for child's play. Tested.com forward slash doctors for doctors without borders. And okay. tested.com forward tight. slash... Too tight. Electrons. Right now, Will is trying to back a truck into into a parking spot. Yeah, it's pretty hard. I feel like like you should go to school for this. Our keyboard is uh, is messed up. I think. Well, start using the switch. I, I I've done that like three times already. I don't know what to tell I keep you. Keep resetting dude. it. You you press E to turn off the engine first, then press Enter. So rest. Wait, oh. why rest? This is not resting. No, I need to. I yeah. Need, I need to auto park. YouTube is not helping. <sighs> yeah, none of this is, is working the way it's supposed to. This keyboard is fucked. I feel like I'm getting really close to the space. Maybe not right now. Um, we can take callers if we want. Do you want to take any Look, callers? Look, there's a space. I'm right there. Right, now what? I'm pressing enter. It, all it says is to press enter to skip parking. I don't even know if there are wheels on the bottom of this thing. It just I think like you a need sled. a wired keyboard. I, I, this thing is just a piece of shit. Gary, I think that this is a user error. It worked fine for me like 20 minutes ago. Well, how, many, how many ways can I get wrong pressing enter? Is the power on on the back? It's, yes, it is on. But okay. the little green light's not on. What little green light? The little green light that indicates it has power. <sighs> Maybe the batteries are dead? I think that may be the case. I find that unlikely. Well, it's definitely on. Okay. Let's take more calls. More calls is good. Gary's in charge of the calls, too. So hopefully that keyboard works. So if I press this, is the sound going to come through? Yes. All right. Let's see. Who do, we, who do we have here? It's also your responsibility to cut off any call. Yeah, if somebody starts saying bad things, right. you have to cut them off. OK. Someone is now on the line. I don't know who it is. Hi, who's this we have on the line? Hello, who's this? Hey, who's this? This is Tim. Can you hear me? Yep. Hi, Tim. How you doing? Is this better? Hey, Tim. Yeah. Welcome to Octobercast. Hey, I met you guys at uh, Make It There this year. Oh, which in, one? Uh, Bay Area. Oh. Oh, cool. Very cool. Yep. I had the uh, little display that was uh, controlled by my phone. Oh, and, yes. Uh, you had the Arduino uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was inside that big room with all the, the Sutter projects. Yep. I'm going to try and get a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Just How's it going since then? Good. Good. Have you been watching? Oh, what's that? Just working. Okay. Working. Um, Have you been watching Octobercast today? Uh, most of the time, yeah. I had to work till four and then Sacramento, so yeah. Um, I think my favorite, most favorite part of Octobercast is when you, Norm, said, uh, you know, blood cures everything, or something like that. <laughs> What did I say? Blood cures everything. When you were uh, applying the prosthetic drink. Oh, yes. The blood, uh, more blood does fix everything. Something like when, that. When you're talking about prosthetics, blood covers is the, the right type of cover. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Huh? I, but, can I have the keyboard? Was, like, you know, out of context. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought we started off strong with, uh, if it bleeds, we can cure it. That, yeah, that was that a good start. I like that. That was when we had energy. I remember those days. So, uh, did I already miss, uh, Adam Savage? And no. Later, later on today. Lego build? What was that? Lego build? Uh, no, that's, that also will that be later on today. Also, yes. Yeah, um, that will be, uh... After Will does some Oculus Horror, whenever he's ready for that, uh, we will do the Lego build-off. Um, which is a good time to remind people, if they don't know, uh, the Lego build-off will be uh, not a race. It will be a, a competition for creativity. It will be an aesthetic competition. Gary, can you go get a wired keyboard? There's one attached to that iMac over there. That's what just, just, trying just, to just do. fucking get this thing going. <laughs> Will and Gary are solving the Euro Trucker problems right now. There are so many problems here. Tim, did you hear when we had uh, Carl Miriam earlier uh, about the Lego Challenge? No, I think I missed that. Ah, okay. So for you and for anyone who missed out, uh, the Lego Challenge, which I think will commence at around the hours. 6 o'clock hour, if I'm correct, wee hours of the morning. Uh, I can't get this fucking thing off. I have a Lego architecture set. So this is a kit that includes 1,210 pieces, white pieces of Lego that are designed to be to, to build buildings and, and you know your or your own architecture design. Will and I will share a pool of these pieces. We're going to start off, um, basically uh, take the uh, amount of dollars we have donated to charity it's so it's far it's and it's divide it's by 100, and that's, that's how many shift. pieces okay, we're going to start off with each. You press shift and, and okay. tab. And press, then, press that again. for every $2 that's donated to one of the charities, Will or I, we're going to each pick a charity before the contest. We'll get to p get one extra piece of Lego. So you're sponsoring the number of Lego pieces we get to use to build a, 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 this a creation. A, this is escape. Don't press escape. So un like, un press escape. Uh, you're talking to me. Uh, this is only test it today. About basically uh, the I don't I believe it was you guys maybe it was another podcast anyway. Uh, it, it, the, have you have you have you read for the or walk walkathon kind of thing? Well, it, it's kind of like a, yeah, like the walk like the walkathon was more of the Oculus Rift thing, which unfortunately Bail. I didn't make full two hours, so it's like Dude, for that analogy, it's Press like the space, walkathon. Gary. The kid couldn't walk more than around around the uh, space, please. the the track. You know, four times. Just once. That's good. Um, okay, now press enter. This is more like Hunger Games. Thank God. <laughs> where you're sponsoring, like, the extra resources we get. Continue, and if you want to support Will, then you uh, donate uh, money to enter, the charity maybe. of his choosing. And if you want to yeah. support me and give let me get more pieces, no, uh, <laughs> then donate to the charity of my choosing. We're each going to pick. And then the third charity that we have, well, if you donate to that one, then we both get pieces. And okay. that evens the playing field. And uh, who's the judge? Gary okay. is the judge. I okay. It's just go down. Gary will be the ultimate the right order. We still haven't decided a punishment for that. That might be. Right, the right just left. see where the button is at the bottom. Just go click to the left of there. Just keep <laughs> clicking until something happens. If the the loser of the Lego build <laughs> might be the first one that has to do the uh, the pepper challenge. Whole thing. Will will is that it? Yeah, I was I a complete failure. This fucking sucks, not because I can't do it. <laughs> Every time. What, what happened? It's just, it's not set up for this to work properly. It says, oh, you're back in the I'm, cab. I'm going back. Hold on, hold on there, Tim. Keep talking to this. Keep talking. Hold on. Thanks, Joey. Um, wow. There are a lot, a lot of configuration options in uh, Euro Truck Simulator. Is this a 2013 version of the game? This is two. So if you weren't under pressure and weren't trying to do this live, this would take like 20 minutes to set up, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty complicated. There, there's, oh. a, there's a, yeah, and we're also with limited monitor capability right now. Yeah, you, we really are witnessing the, uh, the extent of our technical. All right. Capabilities. Right. Will is set, set oh, himself up. Oh, he's going up. back in. He's going back in. All right. 
All, once you're in the rift, that's all you need. Just slot me in. All right. So you drive. You, you're still in uh, England, I guess. You, you, you realize in this metaphor, you're that guy that gets killed from the end of the first meta Matrix game because of contract disputes. That was Cheech and Chong's uh, Chong's son. Really? Or Cheech? Cheech's Tank? son. Or or Dozer. Uh. Tank. Um. Tank. Really? Again with the with the. In the hole. Why, why does it always start aimed not the right way? Where do I need to go? I don't know. I don't know either. You're going to go uh, forward and then I, right, it I looks think, like. I feel like, um, I think the parking brake might, no, it's off. All right. I well, think th thanks for right. calling, Tim. Uh, we're going to pick uh, up another call right now. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do another call. Hold on. Okay, doing a hard turn. Hello. We have a caller on the line, it sounds like. Hi, who's Hi. this? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Who are we Hi speaking there, to? Hi there, my name's Adam. Adam? Yep. Oh, hey, Adam. How you doing? I'm great. I'm from Australia. Welcome oh. to Octobercast. Hey, uh, you're from today, later today. How's it, how's it going later today? Uh, it's good. You guys make it out alive and yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad to know that. I was a little That's worried for a hear. while. I'm, oh, I said I got to look right first here. This is crazy. What, what the hell is wrong with these people? Oh, wait. They're probably the, the only ones watching. You guys drive on the Can wrong I side of the road say. in Australia too, right? Oh, uh, pardon? Do you guys drive on the left side of the road in Australia too, right? We do. We drive on the wrong side. Oh, monstrous. Um, go ahead. What's, yeah, what's your question? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, look, um, I just wanted to ask what you guys maybe thought about the iPad Air being named so weirdly, I guess, and why they're still using the iPad 2 and selling that. Uh, it's a good question. What do you think, Norm? As I finished my chicken wing. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were eating. I think it is a bit weird that they've called it the iPad Air. It's not like there's some bigger, heavier iPad for it to be in relation to. But I think that there it does lay the groundwork for them to do a bigger iPad later on and call it I don't know. iPad I think, Max. I don't know. I think they just wanted to make iPad they, Pro charge more. They for just it. wanted to make the best out of the fact that it's really light now and sure. <laughs> yeah, no, no, and, and, and the I, Air and moniker I, really do, it does denote like a, it connotes a certain thing. And I don't quite understand why they bother to keep the iPad 2 around. Uh, so, they, so the reason yeah, for that is that uh, some market research says that as many as 22% of the iPads bought in the last quarter were iPad 2s. Really? And wow. so people walking in to uh, Apple stores, they just want the bigger screen, and the iPad 2 is the cheapest bigger screen right. one they can get. Right. And, and Apple's margins on those are probably pretty good because they're all the parts. In fact, they're keeping up. It at four hundred dollars. Yeah, keeps those margins high. It's also the last iPad that has a thirty-pin connector. So a lot of institutions that have invested in accessories that are only thirty-pin, whether it's educational yeah. or uh, point of sale or like museums and stuff, where they just plug iPads. That's a in. good point. It's the last thing Apple makes. It still has a thirty-pin connector. And uh, so if they need to replace those, or if they need to buy whole new sets, uh, then no, you've made a good case. The four S um, still has a thirty-pin connector, right? Yes, but I'm saying the last iPad. Oh yeah. And, and that's why people would choose that over, for example, the cheaper iPad mini, which is the same hardware on the inside, the original iPad mini, uh, but has a smaller screen, um, yeah. which I think makes more sense for, uh, for schools. I mean, my iPad 3, I bought an iPad 3, so I'm getting no love because as soon as I bought that, they came up with the iPad 4 in the same year. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, same here. We're I in mean, the same boat. Yeah. It, it still it still works. Still works I saw people when I was having my phone fixed at the Apple Store last week. I saw people in there buying iPads, and you kind of want to go over and say like, "There's new ones coming yeah, out dude. next week," but you can't, you don't want to mess up. You know, you don't want to stick your nose in. They can always yeah, take, I mean, they can always take it back. No, I think the Apple employees they, they're obligated. Or oh, you hey, know, the company policy is to tell customers, "Hey, hold out." Really? I, I don't think that's they don't make commission. Yeah. I don't think that's the case. I, I don't think they make commission, and also they expect the drop in sales. If you ask them, they will say there are rumors of an event about iPads coming no, soon, I'm saying, but they like, don't today, volunteer that. Today. Oh, I don't think you can buy the old one today, can you? If you go to a store right now, you can buy a four. Really? Yeah. Because the, the, the Air's not on sale. Can you buy an old Mini? I guess they're keep still selling the old yeah. Mini. Yeah, so I, mean, they'll, 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 I mean, they will sell the old ones right up until, you know, the day they I, go I off sale. I think the old Mini, the come out. and the old Mini is still the higher price right now. They didn't just drop the price of the Mini immediately. They're waiting for the Retina to come out to have that price comparison. 
How's the truck driving going? It's awesome, man. This is I, this is a life on the road. You seem to be doing much better than normal. Like you're actually going at full speed. I'm going 55 Norm, miles an hour. Can you eat now? I can eat. I'm eating chicken wing. I think Norm is almost fully recovered. Greasy food helps from from motion sickness. Yeah, I understand it. Yeah. I'm really excited for space trucks. Gary, I think it's a great idea. As yeah, well, I'm excited. I'm excited about it too. Someone's made. I, I just got another picture of someone that made a, uh, a plastic oh, no. game oh, board no, no, for no, no, it. No, 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 don't. I think okay, uh, no. there's there's a lot of community support out there, and I feel like at this point, you know, there's, there's enough interest that to not do it would really just would let a lot of people down potentially. It's the kind of game that people have been clamoring for. So we're gonna go. You know, I look forward to watching uh, you know YouTube videos of people, you know, their families and friends playing Space Rocks together. I think it's gonna be Let's great. Place. I would, I would like to get it going by Thanksgiving, so that you know, when families and people get together at Thanksgiving holiday, that can be. And you know, you know how like we, the, the we was like the big family yep. thing, yep. At Thanksgiving several years ago. This, I think, Space Rocks will be that. It'll be the hot thing <laughs> that everyone, everyone wants to have for the holiday season. The it will be better than the Wii tenfold, and I love the Wii. So. Yeah, I'm excited about it, and it's much cheaper. There's a hot air balloon up there. Look That's, at that. I what know. other games have hot air balloons? I know it's pretty amazing. If only no, someone was playing. I was. Oh no, I'm good. Well, he, he's still within his 20 minutes. Yeah, so I've hardly started. He hasn't. He, he'll get there. Um, I wish someone was playing Hot Air Balloon Simulator right now. Oh, that would be amazing. In some type of massive simulator. See, that's what I'm talking about. Interconnected game. worlds. If someone was playing Euro yeah. Hot Air Balloon Simulator, they could look down and say, "Oh, look, there's a guy driving a truck." Do we, do and we, that would be Will. Yep. Falling asleep. I'm yeah. not falling asleep. I'm not dozing. Can you right now. imagine having a hot pepper then going inside the Oculus? That that's would be terrible. crazy. Well, that's what we wanted to do, but it turned out it was it would it would have been way too much to ask Norm yeah. to endure. He had, had put up with enough already. Look at that little Mini Cooper. Do they license cars for these games, or is it just? I don't know. Was that close a, enough? Was it that a, like mini a Mini Cooper? Cooper? I don't know. It's hard to say. The I mean, the truck are... the trucks are licensed, right? I mean, those are yeah. real trucks. Now, now Gary, to to be fair, you know, it's not. To be honest, not real likely that Space Rocks is going to become a real game. But you can hope that at least... What, what the fuck why, do you why, mean? why do you say that? No, don't shoot it down, Norm. Yeah, what are you, you talking can about? At least, you can hope it's that already least... a real game. People have already yes. been playing it at home. Have people played it's... Have you confirmed that, Gary? Or are they just well, I mean, I've, I've, I've seen the board. I mean, I... I you got, you I, got I, to have I, the character I, creation sheets. I mean, what, I mean, who would go to the trouble of setting up a board and then not playing the game? That's just silly. Maybe they didn't have another friend there to play I the game I think you're going to find it very difficult for people to find people to play Space Rocks with you. Look, laser printed at, Space Rocks oh board. Goodness. People are really getting into it. That's you should get stretch goals in mind. Like, have a signed copy out if p people donate certain amounts. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely do signed you copies. See that? It's Tentacle Pond. Yeah. There's, I mean, something, there's, there's, there's a lot of thought that went into oh it. Oh my goodness. Hey, amazing. there's a green and yellow thing coming up right before a clover leaf. I assume that means I'm supposed to turn. You're going to loop. Signal left. You, yeah, you're going to loop left and I'm Yeah, you're going to want to you want you're going to want to take this turn off yep. here. Yep. I got it. And go go a full loop around. Okay. 100 three, 270 degrees. Oh, I, you're I, doing pretty good. I downshifted way too not enough. Um there yeah. we go. I have one more question before I head off. Sure. Sure. Um, I just wanted to ask, oh, what do you Guard guys route. think oh. about Apple in terms of their iCloud service? I still think there's a lot of kinks that they need to work out. And I, like, there's just things, I don't know, when I'm using it, like I have iTunes Match on my phone, that kind of thing, that it just stops working at times. I don't know if you guys have... Yeah, I think it stops working. working. It's kind of not good. I, yeah, think it's I don't, fair I don't to say, completely trust it yet. It's fair to say that app, iCloud is not where Apple wants it to be right now. Uh, both oh, in terms shit. of wh where it's going to end up and where it can be. Uh, they had to pull a lot of development resources Is this the shoulder? To, no, that's a um, shoulder. to iOS 7 to get, yeah. get that launch for, and, then, and then on the Mavericks and stuff like that. And I feel like maybe next year uh, they will do big iCloud announcements. They're not that good at the cloud stuff yet, though. And, and, and I mean, they're improving, I guess, but it's, it's not going as quickly as I would like to see, I know. But then is Android any better? Like, I have no experience oh, with shit. any Android oh, devices. Well, when you say oh, I, Android in terms of, like, similar services, it's Google services. I don't know about and Android, yes. but I, I currently trust Google's online services more than I do, more than I do iCloud. Yeah. Google's much more That's likely true. to I still be Google working. Google Drive and everything. Yep. Do you get points taken off for hitting cars? Uh, I think the, there is a pop-up. Oh. Well, thanks for the questions, Adam. Thanks for calling in. Thank yeah. you so much, guys. I've been listening for years, so keep it up, and oh. I'll always be testing. Right. Thank really you appreciate so much, it. Man. Where, where are you in Australia? Can you say? Uh, yeah, I'm in Perth, where uh, Heath Ledger was born. Ah, excellent. Oh, there you go. Well, thank you, sir. All right, Have a good uh, afternoon. Yes, I'll keep listening, so um, I'll, be, I'll be in the chat as well. All right. Excellent, sir. Okay. Have a good one. Thank, thank you. Thanks, much. Adam.
Do you want to take another one? Yeah, let's keep them coming. I, I like to drive and talking on the phone. I wish I had something to drink. And I could drink and drive. All right, you know? next call. We don't encourage that here, but why not? Who do we have on the line? Hi, how you guys doing? There this you is go. Stephen from Greenville, North Carolina. Steven. Hey, Stephen. Wow, what time is it there? It's, uh, it's it is 6.48. You were saying, I'm going to throw my other headphone in. They're, they're yeah, already into the next morning. I might do 24 hours with you guys and go ahead and knock it out. I've done this much. I might as well. I'm um, actually feeling it. kind of okay. I'm feeling much, yeah, I'm feeling uh, much better. Like It's coming to 4 o'clock. Let me, let me tell you, Stephen. If you're, it, it's best if you feel shitty for a full hour. <laughs> and then come back, and then you're going to feel great for the next two hours. Anything feels better. I feel than like I've got one more low point ago. ahead of oh, me. God. But as it is Roundabout. right now, oh, God. you know, so it's peaks and valleys. Where are you well, going? I've got a bunch of caffeine, and I've been doing the Strand Beast bottle, so it's pushing me through it. All I'm right. almost done with it, unfortunately. Good stuff. Oh, I think I'm getting on a boat. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. It looks, like you're, you're, it looks like you're coming to, into did, the docks. I did this in GTA. There's a stevedore up here. Yeah. Did you know the stevedore is a person who loads containers on and off of ships? Yes, yes I did. I've that. seen The Wire, season two. Oh, I haven't watched The Wire. I'm getting money for doing something. I don't know what it's for, but I think that's money coming in. Yeah, you're, you're, driving, you're driving a truck. Right turn. No offense, Norm, but I understand it was motion sickness, but the speed I've, is really good here with Will. He's it's dangerous. I'm impressed. I've played this he a little bit dangerous. before. Oh, I'm all over the place. I wish that this wheel turned more. I'll be perfectly frank. Now, I'm sure you can set up the settings and tighten I think that up I was supposed Microsoft to go in that hole. I was trying to play like a right responsible I think, yeah, I think you messed truck up. driver. Yeah. I think you're driving on the wrong side yeah, of the road, I think too. I was supposed to go get on a boat. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm on the What right happens side. if you turn all ram happy? I'm just going to do a loop around if the block. Has anybody tried that or looked into that? Uh, it, bad things. Yeah. They, they uh, frown upon that behavior. What, if you ram, start, you start ramming, ramming into things? People. I think you'd just lose your license. Well, yeah. as um, you guys are such great content creators, I had a quick question. I was thinking about setting up a gaming channel for YouTube. Okay. I was wondering, what would you recommend for video processing for Windows? Um, um, I don't. I, I'm an, unfortunately, I'm a PC guy. Like I'm not a Mac guy. Compress uh, completed audio. What's your budget like? Because you can get uh, you can get real crazy with this. I don't know. Something hundred, I guess, if I have to. Hundred, hundred and fifty, I mean, the absolute most. So, do you have an editing tool already, or no? No, I'm pretty raw on what I have. I just built, built I actually I threw my hat in for the um, the prize pack for all the stuff on my computers okay. up there, the ATFX, all the video and everything. But so, uh, oh, go ahead. I had a two point question because if I didn't win that, I was going to looking at the uh, 270X by MSI, and I wanted to get your opinion on that as well. Okay, so if you the cheapest way to get pretty good video editing, and Joey can correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, I think I clipped a wall there. Yeah, another little space rocks uh, promotion well, on the screen there. Is probably Vegas, and then you can you can use Handbrake or something like that to compress the video that comes out of Vegas. Although I think Vegas will even do a YouTube video at this point, um, and that's the that's the least expensive. You can also pay what ten or fifteen dollars a month per, for Premiere, but that might be more than you want to spend, uh, yeah, and that'll come with tools that'll let you compress stuff for YouTube as well. Um, YouTube takes pretty much anything at this point. Uh, the other thing you could do is just get uh, like a, a Hophog HD PBR two or a game capture device of some sort and just stream directly to YouTube and not... Yeah, I was thinking about doing that. My raw, I was getting really good frames still being able to play shooters and, and do that. That's what I was thinking with graphics cards to be able to keep it in like solid 65 while I'm loading out on high settings. PC? You see a lot of medium setting videos and no one wants to watch that. No, PC mostly you can use um, XSplit or that broadcaster thing. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. But there's an open source free XSplit alternative that's actually better than XSplit. It's a little rougher to set up. But um, but it's pretty straightforward if you're doing PC games, especially if you're like into indie stuff and not necessarily into your triple A's. Uh, it's a little bit easier. Oh, well, yeah, it's, it's really going to be a lot of Battlefield Four settings, a lot of create as much craziness as I can pack into a video. That's my goal. Uh, Okay. But I, I do want to. While I still have you on the line, I want to say I really do love all the stuff you guys do with Adam Savage, all the the in between midweek videos, and I've really gotten into. Uh, the normal podcast. I kind of shied off in the past, and I wish I had gone back and started watching some of the older ones. But it's really it's great co content, and there's nothing like it anywhere else. Oh, thank you so much, man. Uh, we really appreciate it. I mean, we have fun making it. So it's yeah, where like... I mean, where else can you watch Will aimlessly truck drive a truck around a parking lot yeah. at four in the morning? Yeah. Um, did you say Adam's coming on at eight? He's gonna be on at eight a.m. our time. I don't know. So oh. like four hour stretch to Adam. I can stretch that. Hey, can you press enter, Gary? Um, enter, enter. Yeah, I get to get on a boat. Hold on. What, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get on a boat. I, I guess that's, that's how you're going to get that one over there. That's oh. how you're going to get in, the, in Europe. Dover Cliffs, right? So, 
I need to go to mainland Europe. Take me to take me to. Uh, 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 what is this in Steam right go now? Go to What's the, the price. Right, Someone's I think it's like eighteen go. bucks. Is what somebody said a while ago. It's money. Oh, that's, that's good money just for click on uh, that one. Click on that one right there. That's Play good. Euro truck simulator. Perfect. Uh, I don't know if my reactions are fast. Go enough down for that. to the lower. Just keep going to the lower right. Yeah. Just hit tab and hit enter maybe. Nope, that didn't do anything. Um, maybe Joey will switch us over. I don't know if he's awake over there. I'm ready to to take a nap. I'm surprised you guys Joey. didn't call up your local whatever beverage guy and get a case of XYZ energy drinks delivered. Uh, not big, oh. not too big on the energy drinks. We or coffee, coffee or whatever. Or you know, they, they all do the same thing. They, the same people who do your Java or... I know you guys are really big into... You know, um, single press coffee and all the good stuff. We yep. didn't. We didn't get a coffee sponsor. Um, I, it's, I always feel weird about asking for stuff like that. But uh, we're we're pretty. We run pretty light over here. This is France, well, I guess now. So I'm, the name escaped me. But the crazy concentrated coffee. We have that. That guy was so interesting. The Antarctic stories. Antarctica stories. You have to get him back on and let him have some time. Phil is one of the most interesting men in the world. Um, <laughs> he really is. Like he he. Sometimes, if you want to look at something horrifying, just look at the conversations we've had on Twitter. You can use search to find them. And, and he tells me all about nuclear horrors that I then go Google and oh, have yeah. nightmares about. That was amazing, too. I mean, just the, the sheer breadth of the information he was giving from any different subject. It was just great. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a good all-around nerd. So, Will, are you on the other side of the... Are I you just, in France I, now? I crossed the channel. Wow, so you... Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, that's not the right way. One of the last times I puked heavily. What, in France? Was uh, crossing the English Channel. When was... Was this before I knew you? Um, early thousands. I think I, I had, had a bad way. bacon sandwich on the boat. Oh. Boat bacon seems bad. But I'm so what's the next stretch goal? You guys haven't talked about it. 20 grand, um, Norm gets slapped uh, in the face, we're, right? We're, well, 15 grand's coming up. And I've been keeping you guys abreast on the Do we have anything for 15? We should have something for 15. Oh, is, is that you that's been keeping, that's been yeah, chatting? Been chatting? Oh, been, thank you so much. That's been incredibly helpful. Have the calculator all night. I'm going to keep with it. You guys keep making content. The least I can do is keep you up on the numbers. All right, We, good we stuff. are here with video on the internet. So 20,000 is <laughs> definitely I'm getting slapped, but we should definitely come up with something for 15. Who gets to do the slap if there's no guest here? Does Gary get to do it or do I get to do it? Oh, Joey gets to do it. How about you eat the hot pepper? I'm eating the hot pepper at the end of the show. I no, think that's Will. So, yeah. so Norm could do, could Norm could do the pepper at 15. Hold on, I think Steven has a suggestion. Uh, so you should let Joey come out and do it, doing all the, your production work behind the, the curtain. Yeah, the man he, that's... Exists. I mean, I just want to take a moment <laughs> and shout out for Joey. And, and uh, Joey has had a small team of experts in there helping him throughout the night. And without those guys, we, we they're like... You know the old story about Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, and, and like Fred Astaire always got the props for dancing, but Ginger Rogers had to do the same moves backwards in heels. Well, Joey's yeah. doing the heavy lifting for us in here tonight. I'm just driving a truck. Uh, the staging's been great. You know, the cuts in and out. You guys have gotten all the people off. You yeah, know, it's, been, it's, it's, been, it's been a pretty uh, seamless and utterly flawless presentation from beginning to end, I, I, I think. <laughs> I, I agree. Last hour, Gary, Taking but, professionalism uh, to new heights. I, we've had makeup. Yeah, we have had we have had makeup. <laughs> yep, yeah. uh, special effects. Yeah, special effects. We've had uh, I feel like virtual I could... reality. We've had. It really is the future. It's slapping. everything tested about. Oh man, I'm almost right? Rotterdam. Technology. It yeah. Must be in Amsterdam, in, in Holland. Board games. Do you uh, you know you, you hear those stories about those guys that play uh, Gran Turismo so much that they become professional race car rally car drivers? Yeah, they, that's the way Nissan did it for the uh, their last way to find their amateur drivers, they did it uh, through GT Academy. Are you right. thinking about becoming a professional truck driver? I feel like I'm probably real close to getting my European truck driving license. Look at me. There's this, only could, a... this could be a whole new career for you. If this internet thing <laughs> doesn't work out. Less... You got downshift there. You yeah. got less uh, I got, by the European truckers. I got too far down. I thought I was going to France, not Holland, but I guess I'm in Holland if Rotterdam's here, right? I do kind of like the idea of being a trucker. Like you have, you have your bunk in the back there, the open road. Yeah, you're right back there. You know. Every day you see a different place. Have you not seen Fast and Furious you when they you... hijack all the the truckers? I don't think that really happens. That no. You guys drive cattle around instead of electronics. You got everything you need back there. You got your little hot plate. You got your DVD player. <laughs> you got plate. your bunk. Hot plate. You can do a lot with a hot plate. Just you and your truck. Yeah, all, all, I need is, all I need is a toaster oven. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I need no. lights, guys. I gotta go with the real side on this one. Yeah, they just don't do a very good job, right? And they take up a shitload of space. It's, it's all about what you need for the job, you know. It's, you can't use the same tool for every single job. 
I think uh, people overuse toaster ovens. As a guy who's did my many shares of hours in restaurants. Hey, Gary, can you mash K, K like for me? Jordan, you know. What do you want me to mash? K, please. K? Hold on. I need the high beams. All right, hold on. You may have to hit L first. See, this isn't fair because you're not getting the constant wipers going on for 35 minutes. Oh, you minutes. get a P. I can turn the wipers on. I can handle that. Ooh, that's a weird effect right there. Let's go strobe. There. Ah, oh, beautiful. Let's blind some friends. Okay. Okay is really bright. That's insane. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you just Are turned you it off. Motion no, I'm good, man. Will doesn't get motion sickness. I'm through the tunnel. Hit K again. It's dark. There's no, another I'm hot air balloon. No, I'm you don't have Team Fortress, because you had it in the earlier Oculus demo. Well, we, we've done, we, we, we have it installed, but it's, we've kind of overdone Team Fortress. And it, this, this is good. something weird and more, no, this frankly, is cool. This is yeah. definitely cool. I just didn't know what the, if you had any issues with it. Oh, no, no, no. Team Fortress is um, you need difficult a to play keyboard, competitively. Really. And, yeah. yeah, we don't have a good... Uh, Green screen setup for Team Did Fortress. Did iRacing or anything like that have <laughs> Oculus set? Uh, I have I have iRacing, but I never got it installed. We ran out of time before oh, we got everything done. Uh, see, but we'll do be, another, you know, we'll, it's, it's kind of low res though, isn't it? The Oculus. We'll, yeah, it's real low res. We'll do an Oculus, another Oculus uh, video stream probably in like late November, maybe the week after Thanksgiving or something, when things are just a little slower. Um, the last couple of weeks, we got some big news coming up in the next week or so. Oh yeah. So. Um, yeah, big stuff's happening. All right, I think it's time for a new caller. Oh. All right, guys, thank you very much. Thank, thank you so much, you, Steven. Thanks for calling. Day. Keep on testing, man. So, see, I kept it with trucker lingo because I'm driving a truck now, so I usually say keep on trucking, but this time it was keep on testing. Do we want to take yeah. another caller? How are we doing? What time well, is it, guys? Well, uh, uh, right as I said that, all the calls went away. Well, they'll call back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Skype address is just testedcom if you want to give us a call. Uh, please uh, use headphones. Oh, okay, here's uh, 15 a people. Here comes AJ. Pick oh, up. No, pick he went away again. Oh, okay. Here comes AJ again. All right, let's try it this time. The tachometer is incredibly All useful. All right, we're connected. Well, oh, this looks windy up Hello? here. Hello. Hey, AJ, welcome to Octobercast. Uh, okay, he's no, not. No, AJ. Pick somebody else. I'm picking someone else. Here's Lucas. What? Oh, he went away. Here's James. Well, oh, this feels like I'm going too fast. Hey, James, you there? Hello? I just got more money. All right, that's not working either. I have a real advantage of this because the no motion sickness thing is... A, okay, is... here's Aiden. Ooh. Hello. Whoa. Hello. There we go. Hey, Aiden. Now we have some. Oh, no. Money. That was bad. Oh, well, you Ugh. crashed. Oh, my car's fucked up now. Hey, where, Aiden. Where are you calling from? Hello. I'm calling from Australia. Oh, oh another oh, Australian. Really? All right. It's starting to feel the tiredness. It's only 10 p.m. here, but I've been up since 5. Oh, oh wow. 5 p.m.? You got up for the beginning. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I went up and walked to my local McDonald's and got a gigantic breakfast. Okay, that was a good move. Yeah. What'd you have? Yeah. What, well, you what's McDonald's, McDonald's breakfast? In? I, you know what? I oh, like I McDonald's whole, breakfast. I had the whole kit and caboodle. Had so what? The, but what the, the sausage McMuffin, the hotcakes, the half browns. Oh, the I big was gonna breakfast. say hotcakes. Is it different? That sounds good to me right now. Like I wondered if Australian McDonald's breakfast was different than American McDonald's. Do you have biscuits? Do they do biscuits there? Uh, it's just all sausages. Okay. Whoa, that window's really dark. Or bangers, as we like to call them. Are yeah. they? Are they different? Okay, so are they like? Are they white sausages, like English there's, bangers? There's no sausages. Oh, I'm, just, okay. I'm just fucking with you. Oh, <laughs> they're flat patty sausages, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, those kinds of sausages. They're okay. But it's no banger. Um, no. What's uh, they have the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit? Do, you, do they do biscuits? Or do they put everything in English muffins? Uh, it's all English muffins. Really? Yeah. Yep. Fascinating. Mm. Um, uh, let's see what else. What other questions do we have about McDonald's? In in I'm about to deliver a. Load I think of you've goods. exhausted that particular line of inquiry. Yeah, I think you're probably right. I thought yeah. I was going someplace, but I ran out of. I think, ran out of juice. I think the only real difference is that everything's like. You know, two to three dollars more expensive here. Mm, Australian dollars. Is the conversion yep. rate bad, or are you guys just getting screwed like on everything else? Uh, uh, it's not too bad. I mean, there was that good, you know, two years or so where your economy was just completely in the toilet. Yeah, that was great yeah, that was for good, us. Good times. One and a half yeah. Cents, one and a half dollars to your dollar, or the other way around. But yep. now it's now you're back on top. We really enjoyed that. It was fantastic. Like the best part was watching all of our life savings just evaporate overnight. <laughs> Is this your final uh, destination I'm, here? Will? I'm back in the truck in right now. If I can do it, I don't know. Back if I can. it up. Deliver the load. Look, look out the window. Oh, that's at night too. Whoa. See, that's the most immersive part. Yeah. See, look, that's just like real life. 
And your Turn. wheel is... Whoa. Oh, right. crash. Oh, right. crash. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to my past two hours. I'm gonna donate my, my minute rate that I said I'm gonna donate for the amount of time that you did. That's, uh, that oh, is... Good job. That Thank is you. generous of you. It's only like twenty six dollars. I, th I think the yeah, I think the effort should be rewarded. Norm really kind of pushed himself yeah. to the to the limits. The, of what the he gritted could teeth was making me. Feel yeah, sick. I felt. I I, I, was, I wanted to go take the grim. goggles off him. I felt bad for him. I feel like he earned it despite failure. It's like at the end. It was like the, the middle of Rocky Four when I'm, I'll, uh, I'll go back Creed in the Oculus. Rocky throw in the towel. I'll go back in the Oculus. It's too late, man. Did, no, keep Norm away don't, from Don't do Oculus. it again, Norm. <laughs> <laughs> now Will just wants to be able to lord that over. I'm not gonna lord it, you, dude. You did. You, you like. I have a. I have a. Um, a biological gift of a really shitty inner ear, so I don't get motion sick. This is a, it's a freak of nature thing. You did. You did the hard work. But thanks, right. man. Thanks for dialing in. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Oh, all right. All right. Let's see. Uh, thanks. Keep keep at it, guys. Thanks. I'm gonna try and stay up for this whole till 6 a.m. All right. I think it's worse here. You can end with McDonald's also. Worse or better. Yeah, no, six, six, six a.m. to feel, six a.m. Seems too like sick from all the caffeine. All right, thanks a lot. All right, bye. Bye. S see you, sir. All right, let's see who else we got. Gizmo. Is that Darren? I don't know. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Welcome hey, to Octobercast. You know, I'm just parking a truck. What? <laughs> what are you up to? I've been watching since uh, you guys started. This, oh, is, wow. this is pretty, pretty riveting stuff. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, compared to some stuff earlier, I would say so. Yeah, that just I mean, looks really hard. Yeah, I would agree with that. That seems about right. How's that back and end going? I'm getting there. Do you, do you have like a, a, a plan here? Do you know what you're doing? Yep. All right. I'm backing in. Are you just using the mirrors now? Yep. Because that was one of the tips we got in the chat earlier was don't use the don't turn around just use the mirrors. I missed the shit out of that one, didn't I? Uh, I think that's so. the space right over there. <laughs> to your left. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. I think, Man, I'm, I really, think I'm on something. They really uh, they really want you to be very. I really nailed it with accurate. the monitor. Just to just I know that doesn't count because nobody can see it and it's not real. Like you know what? I, I got when I did this at home. Uh, when I downloaded this game because I was like, oh, Euro Truck Sim, this would be really dumb, and then it turned bad. Um, I got the parking on the first fucking try. I was really impressed with myself. But that was with a gamepad and no VR goggles that make it impossible to see detail. Oh, God. Say, so, Judah, what was your name again, and where are you from? Okay. We lost that call. Oh, we lost it. Sorry. Uh oh. I thought Adam from Australia was pretty good, though. And Stephen yeah. from North Carolina immediately before him was okay, too. And then Tim from Australia? Yeah, we've had a couple of Australians. We've had a lot of people that have been with us the entire show to, this year, which is, seems unusual. I don't remember that happening last All year. Right. Who's, who's this? Hi, this is uh, Lucas Watson from Oregon State, Oregon. Hey, Lucas, how you doing? Welcome to Oktobercast. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. How about you guys? We're great. We're hanging in there. Great is relative. Barely. I feel pretty good. We're in the last uh, third now. Yeah, is I know. That I'm true? Right yeah. there with you. Fine. This is the last eight hours. We've done 16 wow. hours. <laughs> yeah. Everybody is a 24-hour viewer. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Will, Will, I wish you could see what we see right now. What are you now. doing? Are you getting slapped while I'm no. driving? <laughs> no, they have composited you behind some kind of virtual uh, desk. Can somebody Can just press that? enter so we skip this? Yeah. Um, yeah, hold on, I'll go press enter. Oh, my face is sweaty. Oh. Lucas, you liking what you've seen so far? Uh, I'm loving it. This is my third October cast. So. Oh, that's great. Is this a show? So this is a show you enjoy. You willingly come back for more. Um, yeah. Interesting. I like you guys. Like the guests. Okay. Just hit drive. Yeah. You might have to pick a mission. That was that looks like exit. What? Drive is the big round button in the lower left. Lower left, not lower right. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. When you. No, no, hit no. Hit no. Right side. Just the button on the right. Jesus Christ. Norm, can you drive? Wow, I'm in a virtual set. That's amazing. There we go, over here. Boom. You cannot walk? Just hit yes. Um, so who's your favorite guest so far? Lucas, is that right? Uh, yeah. Um, I gotta say, Drew and Alex. They were pretty good. Because of the slap and the pepper? Uh, yeah, just because I like seeing them on camera, too, because I'm a big fan from Wiska Media Day. Yeah, of course. 
I think I need you to hit space bar for me, maybe. Space bar? Oh, no, I'm good. But I need my lights, so I need you to hit K. Um, I thought that was a pretty good bit. I didn't think that, that Drew was going to punch him in the face. Am I in England again? Uh, I'm not sure. I ask only because it matters which side of the road I'm on. Well, no, because look, look where your, your steering wheel is on the other side, so you oh, won't be. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'm on the wrong side of the road then, like an asshole. Well, maybe you are in England. I don't fucking know where you are. Okay. Um, uh, I'll just draw a line. It's an interesting crowd. Hedge your butts. Drew and Alexis. Yeah, just drive down the middle of the road. Yeah. That's the safest thing. That's perfect. Here we go. Driving down the street. Well, brings me back to the uh, happy hour days. We, were, uh, we saw Dave uh, a couple days ago, and we were talking about a happy hour. It was a good time. Yeah, it was. I actually have a question for you guys. Yeah, fire away, man. So I'm in my informative years of my college career, okay. which means I am reading a whole lot of classic literature. Uh, I do not have headlights. K, please. Hold on a second. K, there's no holding on. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's really dark. <laughs> Go toward the light. I'm pressing K. Well, press L then first. Fall oh, that car. Fuck, there's a train truck there. There we go. There go. Oh, I just blinded that. Nope. nope. Too many. One more. There we go. Perfect. Right there. Don't do it anything more. All right. I got it. Thanks, Gary. Okay. So uh, my question is, what was the kind of literature that inspired you guys? And uh, are you? Guys, uh, is this? A, hold on. I, uh, now I appreciate you calling in October. Are you taking advice now? What was the question? Uh, formative. Uh, for me, it was. It's easy because this is something I know. Um, uh, the, the stuff that the Beats wrote in the 50s, 40s, and 50s, uh, it started with On the Road, and you'll just kind of branch out from there and find a whole bunch of other stuff. And that led into the fiction that was written in the 60s, as well as some new journalism stuff from Tom Wolfe and Hunter Thompson uh, that we talked about on Still Entitled a few weeks ago, like um, Fear and Loathing Las Vegas, which is fiction, obviously, uh, but also Electric Kool Aid Acid Test and Hell's Angels. And, and then that led into a whole world of, of science fiction. Uh, as I got a little bit older. Is that Gary Norm? You want to take a stab? It's a pretty good, pretty yeah. good answer there. I, I, it's something, yeah, I, I like, On the Road and Fear and Loathing Las Vegas are, are two books that when I, I read at a pretty young age, I guess, and, and kind of shaped, like I realized that modern, I, I really dislike uh, late 18th century and early 19th century U.S. literature, which is one of the things that you study in U.S. high schools a ton. Um, and when I, when I read On the Road, I was like, this is fucking incredible. Everybody should read this. Why have I been wasting my time with Mark Twain, who I, I understand is a, is a treasure and a genius, but is really boring if you're 17 years old and you're interested in you know, girls and beer and all the stuff 17-year-old guys are into. So, yeah, that's my answer. Pretty comprehensive. I don't think this is a passing lane. I don't even know what side of the road you're supposed to be on I right think it's now. the right. Oh, I'm supposed to turn here. Well, there's a car right there. I got it. We're cool. Whoa, swinging wide. This truck make, makes wide right turns. Um, Norm, uh, was there, like, how did you end up doing uh, writing work? Uh, good question. I can't even think of right now. <laughs> yeah, this is, this, this, this is a very deep, insightful question for no. 4 o'clock um, in the morning. You, reading? <laughs> you, yeah, you read a lot. Reading magazines, being, being put into the public library every weekend. Take, um, take three books home. Like you got dumped in the public library as as uh, we need some more keyboard help, Gary. Oh God! It's, it's what like do you daycare. Need now? Enter. I can do it. Um, but then Ooh. you did an internship, yeah, right? Oh, can you mouse that? Yeah, you got it. Just pick pick the top one. It doesn't matter. Playing video games. Uh, and then you got yeah. an internship at PC Gamer at a pretty young age, right? Yeah, it's pretty young. It's like fifteen years old. Um. I think you and I started at Future at about the same time. I started at 15 years old, just much earlier. What, but like that was the, it was either that or the coal mines <laughs> for you, right? That's excellent. What's I like that? the last set better. Oh, I think the lights are still on, but it's okay. This, the, this new set's good as well. Uh, the other one was... Oh, yeah, the zoom, zooming in helps. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road. I'm back in England. Ba -dum -bum -bum. There's a mini. That is totally a licensed ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. mini. These, these ba -dum -bum -bum. virtual sets are so good. By good, do you mean not good? No, good means great. Um, Gary, Gary, what's the first book that like you read and you were like, oh, did anything kind of change your life? Were you a frustrated novelist as a magazine guy, or did you always want to make magazines and then the screen screenplay stuff happened as a result of that? That's I, I, there's so many parts to that question. 
Uh, I like to ask compound questions. Yeah. Um, it's a bad interview technique, though. I got into writing because it was the only thing in school I was any good at. Okay. And uh, because I was told there'd be no heavy lifting involved. So you like no, those are the options. No stevedore I to, work. I didn't want to do manual labor. That's a good. I like. I applaud that. That's a good thing to try to avoid. I didn't want to actually work for a living, so I became a writer. So laziness is what you're saying. Yeah, essentially, laziness has pretty much been the guiding uh, There's principle a in all of my major life decisions. Hey, kids! Big Ben, Parliament. Uh, do you feel like that is a satisfactory answer to your question, sir? Uh, yes, it is. All right, uh, I'm not going to take any more of your time. Uh, the, hey, no, we, we, have a, we have lots of time. We have time. a lot of time. Yeah, that's all we have. Yeah, take, take all you want. No, Oops, I'm, I'm going to go guy. play some games to try to uh, keep me awake. That's all a, right. a good idea. We applaud that. All right, well, thanks for I'm calling. Just, keep on trucking, man. All right, good luck on the 24 hours. All I'll right. be with you. Thanks Thank you, sir. Okay, bye. I feel like we're doing pretty good right now, guys. It's daytime do you, now. Do you really? Yeah, I'm feeling it good. It might look that way inside the, those goggles. Like, the I, I sun's you're out. out here in the real world. The birds are singing. I'm listening to this sweet, like, English chav pop station where everybody has weird Cockney accents. How many songs are you licensed Are you listening to an English this? pop station Dude, right now? they stream it from radio stations on the internet. You just, you, the radio station plays radio stations that are oh, local whatever. to where you're driving That's in the game. That's amazing. It's wow. the fucking future. What radio station is it that you're listening I to right now? I can't read any of the labels because they're tiny. By the way, chav is, is not really a, a considered a... <laughs> is that a, a, a frowned upon term? Yeah. Oh. Well, it just said C-A-R-V, C-A-R-V, so I assume that was... Maybe this is GTA. Maybe they have like fake radio stations in here. I thought it was real radio stations. I think it's probably, I, I mean, I like what you're suggesting, if that's what they're doing, is streaming the real radio. I think that that's what they do. I, the music isn't on right now. I, I had to turn it off a while ago. Ah. It made it hard to hear you guys. Um, that's a cool idea, though. It's, like, this game, I'm, they, def they, I'm definitely getting this game. Shit wall. You don't seem to have hit oh, the uh, oh, motion sickness oh. wall yet, either. And you've been playing for a little while. No, I'm good. I, I don't get motion sick, as Norm has mentioned a couple of times. Um, I've only gotten motion sick one time, and it was mainly because it was so bright that I couldn't uh, keep my eyes open anymore. Oh, shit. I'm, oh, this is going to be bad. I was in, like, 12th gear. Um, and so I was on a boat, and I, it was so bright out, I, my sunglasses didn't block the sides. And blue eyes, bad news. Okay. Now what's going on? Kind of stuck. Did you run out of gas? No, no, no. I got stuck on a hill. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, maybe you don't like grind up against the railings like that. That is a good, thank you. Should I shoot that guy? From the guy, from the man who brought you, shoot that guy and look really, out over there. You're going really slowly. I know. I, it takes a while to get a truck. Up. Look, I got a big giant trailer on my ass. Yeah. It takes a while to move all that mass. Uh, you learn a lot about how trucks work, and you, I, I feel a lot of empathy for all the trucks that I've cut off over the years because it takes so long to build up speed that if you have to hit the brakes, you've really lost. You don't want to ever hit the brakes in this game unless you're going to kill somebody. Um, we can switch over to Oculus Horror in a little bit if you guys want. What time is it? It is 4.15. It's 4.15 uh, yeah. already? Yeah. Four we only have six hours to go? Uh, eight hours. Eight hours. We only have, well, that's less cool. <laughs> six hours would be bearable. Eight, you know, One hour not. is going to be done with Lego. Do you yep. want to try? Do you want to try some horror? Uh, let me let me let me let me take this load in. Why don't you deliver? Why don't you deliver that you load? Deliver my final load. Uh, I'm gonna get some speed up here again. I feel like like I should be driving like lean fin back. Finish by uh, nah, yeah. With this one, I think this is a pretty long haul. Finish with a successful dumping of the load. There's no way I'm gonna back into the <laughs> Oculus, but I might dump a load. Oh my god. Over, that's a really weird way to keep the rocks off the road. They do that different in England. Where's my tack? I'm pretty good. Are you, are you in England right now? I'm on the left side of the road, and Australia's not I the game. No, I suppose so, yeah. That looked like a Mini Cooper. That was pretty... I think, I think all the cars that are licensed are Mini Coopers. Or there's some sort of weird European Fords that I don't recognize. I mean, a lot of companies that make cars... Hey, aren't you not supposed to overtake in England? What? You're not supposed to pass on the left. Really? Yeah, that's against the rules. John Gower taught me that. What about uh, on the Autobahn? Uh, that's in Germany, so I don't know what There's the rules There's no rules there. on the Autobahn. You right. can do whatever you want. It's like machine guns, fast. Mad Max, the whole it's thing. It's like the space rocks of driving. <laughs> there, are, there are no rules. And you want to end up with all the rocks. Yeah. Two men enter, one man leaves. I get off here, don't I? Or is it the next one? I think it's the next one. 
Uh, yeah, you're going to go straight for now, according to the GPS. Or the sat-nav, could... as it would be called in England. They call it sat-nav? Yeah. That sounds so much cooler. Did you yeah. screw up with that? No, I think we're good. Turn? I don't see the... the... Look, it's right here. This one right here. Here we go. Yeah, he's got Whoa. it. I'm flooring it. i got to get going speed up this hill or I'm going to be boned. That's what happened last time. Do I have to get gas? You can look down so. and see how much gas you have. I did. Oh, shit. i got a sign there. Oh, this is a really narrow road to Pretty have sure. a major truck I mean, on. look how fast I'm going. Yeah, you should maybe slow down. That no way, man. If you reckless. Slow, speed, is, speed is life, man. You're taking irresponsible liberties with that road. I'm good. Oh, no, you're it's joining, cool. up, joining up with the main yep. road again. Mirrors. Corner of the eye, corner of the eye. Yep, keep oh, rolling. That's dizzying to look at. I feel pretty yeah. good. Where's your destination? Uh, I don't know. I just follow the red line until I, think I get where I, I'm going. Is it supposed to be a red line? On my sat nav. I thought it was supposed to be a green line. It's red right there. This green is because I'm on track. Uh, the green means I'm keeping the schedule. I gotta get the load in time. This is just like that movie uh, where Burt Reynolds and his buddy with the Trans Am. Oh, he was in the Trans Am. His buddy with the with the eighteen wheeler had to get from Boulder, Colorado, to Georgia in a really short period of time to deliver a load of cores. Yeah. Uh, because you couldn't get cores east of the Mississippi then. Right. There was a great song. Uh, I think it was called Gumball Rally, Cannonball Run. You're, you're getting your films mixed up, but I... No, I, it's Smokey and the Bandit. I was just fucking with people. Okay. I can sing the song if you want. No, don't. Do you know who sang the song? To, in what movie? Yeah, Smokey and the Bandit, Eastbound and Down. Um, yeah, wasn't it like uh, Jerry Reed or something it like that? It is Jerry Reed. Yeah. Nice, nice pull. He did all of those songs. It is a great song. Yeah, he did a lot of road, truck driving, country music. I'm a big fan of Jerry Reed. Really? What are some other Jerry Reed songs that you like? Uh, she got the gold mine. I got the shaft. That's a, <laughs> that, that's a popular one. Is that Jerry Reed or is that Ray Stevens? That's Jerry Reed. I okay. Think. Take this job and shove it. One of his great hits. Is that really him? Yeah, that was Jerry Reed. Dolly Parton made that famous in Nine to Five, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, more uh, again. That's what I know from. But uh, but the blown a tire there. But the cars kind of disappear. <sighs> Engine malfunction. Uh oh. It started back up. Oh, wait, it keeps starting and stopping. This, it is kind of hypnotic, isn't it? In a, I love this In game. a dreadfully banal <laughs> way. Yeah, I mean, it's great. Like, it's so boring, if, and yet you, can, you, you cannot look away. I think part of that is our mental condition right now. If I had a lot more free time Yeah, I mean, I would, I, I, had... I would watch pretty much anything right now. Yeah, it's better than talking. Look, there's a cool bridge there. I feel pretty good about my driving ability in this big truck. I think I can do this. I mean, I might hit a few people. Occasional wall. Probably couldn't park a trailer. And people are going really fast. We're going 52. I can't go, I can't get in more than 10th gear because of all the shit I've hit. Yeah, you've, you've fucked up that truck. It's red. You're going to have to pay for that. I'm not, I don't think so. I'm probably not I, think they, I imagine they, they probably. They I, do. I, yeah, I imagine they probably take the truck damage out of your paycheck. I got to yeah. imagine that's. The you're going to be driving this truck for the rest of your life just to pay off all the damage you've oh, done. I'm a, I'm a drugstore truck driving man. I'm sh upshifting, but nothing's happening. Yeah, you, your, your truck is fucked. I had a moment of glory where I was weaving there, through traffic. This is Euro fucked simulator. I too. can't. I can't. Am I supposed to go left here? I don't know. That was a service station. I probably I, got I, my did truck. Did you run out of power? Your GPS, GPS is dead. Like you, you, you're stranded. Oh, there you're you lost. Yeah. No, no. You, you oh, hold on. Every back. time the engine stalls out, the GPS goes away, wow. which is usually right before a turn. But I could have gone over there and gotten service, except for the fucking GPS was off. Oh my goodness. You've got no, you've got no hope. Sorry, people on YouTube who uh, had to tune out for a couple minutes when the stream went down, but we are back now. We're back. Thanks for sticking along. From We're still space. driving a truck. I like this, man. This is my life for me. There's a the rest stop right ahead if, if you need to catch a break. I'm a man on the road, just making a living any way I know how. I feel like I should be going a lot faster, but I, if you just miss, if you're, if you're just catching up, I hit some stuff and now the truck doesn't go as fast. But I was, I, I mean, you got to admit, that was some good swerving in and out of traffic, right? Took some I mean, collision do you, damage. Do you feel like you can still make it to your destination? I don't have any idea how far my destination is. I see a green arrow up in front of me, which means I'm catching up to the schedule again from the unexpected collisions. These downhill segments are great. 
There's got to be a like a indicator of how many miles you are. Yeah, I think your kilometers. Only, your, your only hope at this point is that the rest of the journey is downhill and you can just roll to your destination. Yeah, I don't think that's a real reality. It looks like we might be getting close. I see some stuff off in the distance. Yeah, I think you're supposed to get off the freeway soon. Oh, that's great. Is it this roundabout or interchange? Sure, it looks like it. If you're left. Let's get off. Yeah, you, you might redeem yourself yet. We're making a left turn, guys. Um, Here we go, right now. Okay, there it goes. I feel like I might be coming in this one a little hot, but I don't have a whole lot of choices. I mean, Do you think really there's any mods that add like vehicular combat to this game? Apparently, there's, apparently there's a realistic physics mod. Oh shit! Hard left. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's not. That's good. the fat lady. Now the the truck's making a real bad noise. Oh, some asshole. Oh, it's still Range Rover. Oh, this guy in the Range Rover. Is not <laughs> too happy me. Oh, fuck off, you goddamn yuppie. Okay. It's tourists in that bus are taking photos. Now reach maximum speed. Hey. hey! That was a huge note for the tourists. Just FYI, I love you guys. I think this is, I think we've reached max speed. It's, it, it's, the car keeps turning off and on. Is the truck dead? Oh no. We gotta call AAA. You finished. Wait, no, nope. Wait. Come on, Bessie! Oh, hold on. There's I just named the truck There's Bessie. There's life in the also. old girl yet. You might still make it. We, are we going to make it? No, you're not going to make if, it. If, if we get $1,000, I'll never stop driving until we make it to the destination. Even if it takes 11 miles an hour, if it's the rest of the week. <laughs> I'll be here until we get to the end. This is depressing. This is oh, the, you're actually picking up speed, though. Well, I went down a little hill. You know, the secret of these games that don't have the neck modeling, because the way, the thing that makes you play Oculus for a long time without wanting to chunder is when it models your neck movement based on the position and the biomechanics of most human beings' necks. Engine just stopped. Come on, you got it. Come on, Bessie. Um, so if you have a game that doesn't do neck modeling, as this beta does not, it's just important that you not tilt forward. You have to pivot only. I think that's it, guys. I don't think you're, I, I think you're, I can't see how many miles it has. I think we should switch to Oculus Horror. I think it's time for horror games. All right. Okay. Admirable, uh, admirable truck driving. That was Thank admirable. You. Thank you, Mr. Chan. Uh, I'm going to run and grab a cup, bite of pizza. Actually, no, fuck it. Let's just go. Let's just roll right <laughs> roll. into this. Roll. All right. Um, I'm real sad that Patrick Norton isn't here. Um, you know, he has a new baby at home. Oh. So he may be asleep and have slept through his alarm, oh. for which we will not. Now I envy him. <laughs> um, should I start with the, do I have enough cord to do the don't touch, don't take your fingers off the keyboard game? Oh, I, gotta, uh, I don't know, do you? It looks like it, maybe. Did you get out of Euro Truck Sim? You can just hit Alt F4. Well, I don't have the keyboard. Oh, I have the keyboard. There we go. Um, you have the mouse, right, Gary? Yes. I don't think I have enough distance on the on the keyboard. Oh, you started it again. I didn't start anything. Yeah, you did. Well, whatever. Somebody did. I like their logo. I can do it. It's a good logo. Cancel. OK. Uh, close Steam. All right. There's a shortcut, window of shortcuts open. Should we try to tie? Um, should we try to tie some um, some goals to this? Yeah, why not? Since we're we're, we're uh, you can, don't let go doesn't work, but you can do Alone in the Rift. Too. Yeah. We do Start with Alone in the Rift. Let's right. fucking don't don't you don't open the show with a showstopper. You got your controller? I'm working on it. Yeah, I got a controller. Right. How about people should donate? If people want to watch me suffer, I'm suffering. Let's bring the money. I'm excited about this. Let's bring the pain. Okay. All right. Oh, what does this say? I didn't read that part. Oh, it's to be, it's made to play with the Hydra. Yeah, there's a Hydra mode. Hmm. Okay. Standing with Hydra would be... I don't want to stand. Immersive. Oh, hey. This looks spooky. What's over here? Oh, this is the brain picture. I remember seeing this. Press All right. the left start to control... That's for the, that's that's the Hydra. For Hydra. Mm, got it. 
Is this like a, is this like the witness? Oh, look, there's an X that marks the spot. So I'm am I starting at the X and going to the question mark, or am I starting at the question mark and going to the X? Should I follow the lights, or should I follow the money? I want to talk to somebody about chemtrails. I don't understand chemtrails. Oh, look, they're my hands. Does this game only work? I don't know what's going on here. I'm scared. All right, so um, hit the A button. Oh. There goes a flashlight. Oh, a flashlight. That's oh, handy. Oh, what, what was, was that? that? That looked like a Slender Man. I didn't see anything. Is this, this a Slender Man game? Look at the trees. Some of those trees are people. Do you have sound? Yeah, I have sound. Okay. It's really fucking creepy. I'm going to go ahead and tell you a secret. My eyes are closed and haven't. There's a face in the rocks. Is there? Yeah, over there where my flashlight's poking. I didn't see anything. I don't think there's really a face in the rocks. Hey, there's another light down here. I'm just going to keep it's going from, light to light, from right? light to light. That's what I should be doing. If I you aim your flashlight at the ground, you're less likely to put the flashlight on the scary things. I'm just going to look at the ground the entire time. There's nothing <laughs> scary here. It's cool. That's a good tip, Norm. Thanks. I could also look straight. Oh, my hands! They're disembodied. All right. Okay, now we got to find All right, the There's nothing light. scary here yet. That's another light. No, I don't think I can go up there. You're just walking around in a forest. What's scary about that? Nothing. The forest is scary as fuck, dude. There's no light now. I guess I just go down this hole. What, what could possibly be wrong? Oh, my goodness. Am I going to shit my pants when this scares me, Gary? I, I don't know. I've not, I haven't hey, cool. seen There's enough of this game there. to know what to expect. Oh, look. It looks like friendly lights. Should I turn off the light in case these are scary people over here? Now, uh, are, uh, is the uh, audience out there watching? Can they hear the sound? Or is it no, just they you? can't. It's just me that can oh. hear the sound. We couldn't get sound to pipe out. Um, because uh, you want to know why we couldn't get Because real tech onboard audio sucks balls. That's why we couldn't get sound to pipe out. Because we didn't have any sound cards. Because why am I getting in the water? That seems like a bad idea. No, let's head toward the light. Is there something uh, moving over there? I don't think so. I'm not looking over there. I'm looking up here. Hey, look, Aurora Borealis. Hey, kids. Can we go back to Euro Truck Driver so I can go to Big Ben in Parliament? How are you feeling, Will? I feel great. I feel like there's probably some sort of horrible thing. All right, that's, to that's more light over the hill. Yeah, look, I think follow, following these oh, lights. Oh, hey, it's a cool little house. Oh, there's a little shack. That seems like a good place uh, to go. Nope. Want to go inside the shack? Why Check it out. There might be stuff this. in there that it's you'd kinda, want. There's a scary Japanese horror girl in there. Oh! Right? Uh, I'm already scared. I'm just going to close my well, eyes. Might be, and go you might in. have to rescue her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> The fucking shot scare music is terrible, by the way. She disappeared. Is that you breathing, or is that the game breathing? Norm? I'm not breathing. Not breathing. Oh, okay, so I'm breathing like a motherfucker in the game. That and little the, girl the was music, creepy, dude. The music is ramping up to intense shock scares again. I'm looking down at the ground. I'm too scared. <laughs> my eyes are closed. Oh, my God, what was that? Oh, what's that in the woods? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh. I'm going back in oh, the house. Oh, whole house. What's in the house? We were just in there a minute ago. Don't look around the house. Oh, that's not that scary. There's nothing scary Here it comes there. again. Really, is that not you breathing? No. No. Oh, because I'm hearing, like, the heaviest of heavy breathing. And the music is building to a pitch that I've got chill bumps on arms and legs. Go and go look in Joey, that. Joey, you're an appropriate arms folded. I'm prepared to be frightened. Pose. No, he needs to go look in that Is in Joey that door. standing behind me and going to grab my shoulders no, or something? No, he's standing over here. that would be really fucking shitty. <laughs> What's through there? I might crap my pants. Oh, that's outside again. That's not scary. I wish I was... Oh, 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 oh what was girl. that? What was that? Oh, my God. This is the worst. <laughs> I, I have serious chill bumps on my arms. I'm not, I'm not like... It's just the fucking shittiest jump scares. You got to get toward the next light. I don't know where the next light is. It, it's... I'm just going to go into the woods. You, you know, can't. talking doesn't make it any less scary. Ah, I'm going to go down in the hole. I, I'm, I'm waking up right now. Oh, you reached the edge of the map. Oh, fuck. I can't run away. I don't think I can go back up that. Maybe I can. Oh, my goodness. This There's so many bad ideas. Ah, hey. Oh, oh what's that? My, that was the little girl. <laughs> she just wants to be my friend. That's this is... This I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this is, like... Without the music and shit, you're not getting a, the barest taste. No, of the that's why you got to wear the headphones. Uh, this is scary by proxy. Yeah, I don't like it. I screamed really loud that first time. Where right? are you gonna go? Try and like, you know. Can I crouch down on the floor? And a, a, what's the objective of this game? Do I don't know. know. I, you know, escape. What is this one called? Alone, Alone in the rift. In the rift. I think it's just. I a think there's got to be something scares. in that shack. Dude, I've looked all over the fucking shack. Is the sun gonna come up soon? 
Gary, hit K to turn on my headlights. <laughs> I'm stuck. I think I've hit the geometry. Ah! Oh, God. Ah! 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 I didn't like that at all. Ah! Mr. McMaffin, you're a fucking cock. Okay, next. Bring it. Ah! Oh, terrifying. Let's dance, I did not like that. Uh, the chat's just catching up now. They're all freaking out. It's funny. I note I still have the controller. Why are they playing the, the somewhere over the rainbow on creepy music? Hey, nope out of here, Gary. Let's. Oh, I have the keyboard, don't I? Hold on. Yeah, you have to nope out yourself. Is there more? I, you think? What more of alone in the rift? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, he just got killed early on. No, I think that's it, dude. Oh, it's you just want to run until the right thing there, jumps out and kills end. you. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I don't see anything anymore. Is it, is it gone? I didn't like that thing. I that didn't like that at scary all. Scary as shit. That, that, that was that fucked girl up. girl had blood on her face. Yeah, it was scary. It was like burns. It was all three dimensional and not really. Is it? Do we lose the the? Oh, okay. All right, you want to do dread holes? I don't or, see anything uh, anymore. The next one. Skip. Wait, wait. Right. Dread holes. You want to do save breach? for the very end? I don't know if I want to do dread holes after that. That was scary enough. All right. Well, what do you want to do then? Uh, do do number three. Do breach. That's the next one in the line. There, all right. Patrick. Okay. So this what we're doing right now, this is shot, kind of Oculus cool. Horror, curated by Patrick Klepek. Yeah. Uh, he has gone through a bunch of these games, and he said that some of these were fucking scary as shit. This one's called Breach. It's an Unreal Engine demo. Yeah, this is more like a, on a you're, you're like, you wake spaceship. up on a deserted spaceship. Yeah, the spaceships are scary, right? Uh, I don't have head, tra I kind of have head tracking here. It's not, it's weird. It's not like a Unity game. Oh, fuck. Door. That's a door. It's cool. I'm really twitchy after that last one. Every time I hear a sound, I kind of don't, like want to scream. So I expect to do some real screaming here. Sleeper four, wake up completed. Somebody's walking by me. Please call on ship physician. On ship four, wake up. Practice of safe. All right. Up, Sounds like an safe. aliens type thing. Oh man, do I? Have, ah, that's a guy. That is very definitely not where I want to be. What was there? I'm a dude all there? staticky. There's a dude coming. Through. He's stuck in the geometry. I, I hear a static noise. I, oh, whoa, uh, whoa. Uh, oh, ah, 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 Slender Man! <laughs> is that a Slender Man? Uh, it's a space Slender Man. What the fuck? That I wasn't got, that scary. Uh, I'm not scared. I'm I didn't like it. it again. <laughs> <Look too bad. laughs> you gotta get past him. You gotta get past him. Oh my god, I got chills again. Do you oh, have man, a flashlight? This looks pretty I don't think so. I pressed all the buttons and nothing does anything. Something's wrong with that door. Oh, that door's not working. I don't want to see the Slender Man again. That was scary. This is much less scary than the last one. So far. Oh, that door doesn't work either. What the fuck? I live on a space. Oh, no. There he is. Run oh, away. Oh, run away oh, from Slender Man. Oh, 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 that was it. He's, he's coming after you. Oh, so this one's less of a jump this scare sucks, thing. Dude. Yeah. Just... Let's, let, I think we should go to Dread Holes. I think I'm going to. No, don't. Don't. No, 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 no. Let's, 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 let's try and let, yeah. conclusion. Let's try right. one more time. Okay. Though. Oh, wait. There's a passage over here. This is probably the Slender Man hive. Let's go toward the lights. Can now continue on, yep. Yeah, explore the uh, corridors. Yeah, you, got, you got lights in the distance over there? Well, don't. No, no, oh. no. Never turn your. Never oh, walk right. backwards. Why not? What's behind games? me? Because you could be backing up into something or someone. I think he's underneath me. Is that door going to open again? Ah! Oh, he's right there! Oh, oh my god, he's coming! He's right. Back up faster, <laughs> back up faster. He's coming fast. Look, there's he's another one behind goodness. me. I don't know the map. Oh, my oh the door's oh. Ah! Okay, that was worse. That was scary. <laughs> that wasn't that else. scary. That wasn't that scary. <laughs> I wish there was a gun. I feel like if I had a gun, I could do something. Yeah. This is basically just a first person shooter with no gun. Yeah. It's just like an enemy running runs towards you. He's coming dead. right at me. Yep. Do you okay. not, is there no way for you to uh, well, fight him? I don't think so. What if I go out of here? Can I get into like an escape pod? That's just Oculus Rifts. Those are useless to fight bad guys. Hmm. No, I think. I mean, it looks cool. I guess. Uh, yeah, this game. This okay. this one isn't that great. Nope out, Gary. Oh, I have the keyboard. This um, is not really a nope out. Yeah. This this, this is just a <sighs> meh. Okay. What's next? Alone. Go to number four. Alone, alone is I, I, alone. I have played. Alone is a much shorter experience. All right, it's, that's it's fine. What, what, what we right. set it up here. Okay. Paint me a paint me a. What's the scenario? Well, I'm just gonna let you play it. Okay. This is it self-explanatory? Just get into it. You know, you need full screen. Uh, how do you do full screen? Alt and uh, enter. We'll, we'll need to alt enter. Oh fuck. 
that's option enter here, right? Yeah. Yep, there you go. Okay, yeah, All right. Good job. Pause game. You're playing game. Or press start. Enter okay. ocular distance. So here you've got to play a here. game within a game. Huh. Oh, oh and, and he's just playing I'm the actual game. You're just at home. Oh man, that's Alone. The, this is playing a video game. This game is. Do I pick that up? Or but something? he can't move. He can't actually physically move. Oh, I missed the. I he can just, all he can do is look around in his living room. Well, and you got windows. Fuck, which that's, that's are not open, good. And you got like playing that left Xbox and right. One? People are gonna peek out and left and right maybe. But don't look around, Will. That's, that's, that's the worst thing you can do in this scenario. Don't look around. Why? If there's something behind you, wouldn't you want to know about it? If Joey sneaks up behind me, I'm gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> I want to hear Joey's voice at all times, and you guys have to keep talking. What's the audio? I had to. It's just static. You don't think we would? We wouldn't actually do that. I had to lock the main gate to prevent it from uh, banging around during the windy nights. I left a spare key near the groundkeeper's shed. Okay. You gotta find the groundkeeper's shed. It's pretty great. This is totally. This makes sense. Okay. This, this is another jump scare, Gary. This is totally one of those flash game jump scares we're talking about. Yeah, it's where, a fucking screen work. Where you're just like. <laughs> playing like you're you're focused on this game oh, thing. Oh, I got the bolt cutters. And then fuck the lock. They something's gonna pop up. If I just close my eyes, will this be over soon? No, you just gotta focus it right. Are we, are we raising money? Are people paying? More? I'm not gonna play Dread. What? Where, where are we at? We're thirteen thousand. Okay, I'm not gonna play. I'm gonna keep playing Oculus Horror games, but I'm not gonna play Dread Halls until we get to fourteen two. Let's say. 14,200 for Dread Halls. Whoa, ceiling fan. What's up on the ceiling fan, Will? Dread Halls is definitely worth it. It's just a ceiling fan. The old house groaned and seemed to be in a constant state of settling. These old homes sure are noisy. So the thing about this is it's doing a really good job distracting me. This game, even though it's kind of shitty, is doing a good job of distracting me from the fact that I'm playing a game inside a virtual world. So I'm sure that there's going to be some sort of nightmarish jump scare in a minute. In the real world, in the world, in the, this one, this in one the, really isn't that bad. This is like the yo dog of worlds. It's like I got a world inside a world. So the first world, someone's the gonna run across, world, the, run across the living room. Oh, I don't want to hear that. A ghost is gonna float in from a. I left wouldn't side. worry about this one too much. The thing that's, yeah, of course, you're saying that because you're trying. To, what are all these devil symbols? Is this a John Romero joint? This here, game is pretty creepy. More text. Caught a glimpse of someone. Don't down focus the woods too much today. on the TV, Will. Yeah. Don't Be aware look, of your surroundings. It, it, don't look around. It's not a good idea. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Who's going to sit on the couch next to you? This sofa is really fucking ugly. It's a really wide sofa, though. Look, there's a like, cushion over there. <laughs> Some art on the walls. <laughs> it's distressing how alone you are. My Joey, house fucking Joey, sucks, you dude. have a hand in front of eyes, one foot away what, pose. What the fuck it's is great. up with that, with that bookshelf? It's terrible. I'm, Joey, my trick is I'm using the mic. <laughs> You're holding onto the mic? No, I'm using, the, I'm positioning my, my face. Oh, behind the mic? Behind the mic to block the monitor <laughs> so I don't see what's. What, <laughs> I'm, I'm so in, completely immersed in this world. <laughs> Everyone's terrified. It's, it's, it's really scary. It's really scary. Then I heard a terrible scream from the forest. Oh, if this is a fucking screamer, Patrick, we got problems. <laughs> what we should do is when we Skype Patrick in later. Is the forest on the left, is the forest on the left or right of you? Not looking. I couldn't fall asleep last night. I kept hearing weird noises in the attic, like someone dragging a body across the floor. Cue weird noises in the attic. Is someone draw, uh, drag a body across the floor? I don't hear it. Oh, I just heard a weird noise. Gary, you're not afraid because you know a, what happened. I'm not afraid because I've seen this one. There's a noise, like somebody dragging Does, a body across the Does only one thing attic. happen? Hey, no. there's an arrow pointing me upstairs to the attic. What could possibly go wrong? Is this your house that you're playing in? Oh, my no. God. The game is happening inside the house? The attic door is firmly shut, almost as something was placed on top of it. <laughs> I'll have to find another way in. Okay. That door's shut firmly. What about this door? Oh, nope. Wait. Oh, my goodness. This game's going on too long. I, I'm, it's, this is going to be shit my pants scary. This, this one really isn't that bad. Of course you're saying that. Whenever I'm in the nursery, I swear I can hear the voices of small children, and that's creepy. Alone in the Rift was pretty bad. I didn't like that girl with the blue. Wait, no, I'm hearing, I hold on. Like at all. Oh, no. There's scary voices. I'm not looking to the right or left, no matter what I hear. <laughs> you close your eyes, Will. Found a book in the library today. I dare not describe how it, it's round. Well, it's very important, but since people can't hear the sound. Yeah, I have to describe you, it. You describe to people what it is. It is round, hearing. or the words contained within. So the sounds are very faint. But like you hear like hints of talking, 
stuff like that. I'm looking around real quick. Oh my uh, goodness. I, should I look behind don't, me? Don't look around. Don't look around. Okay, everything's cool so far. <laughs> is there, is, am I not you seeing guys. the scary part? Did I come this way? I can't remember which way I've gone now. I think it's this way. But I hear like a kind of gentle breathing all the time. Is it behind you? I don't think so. Turn all the way around? Uh, sleeping has become <laughs> a rough term for laying... I can't read what this says. Awake at night. Uh, awake at night. The fear and suspicion of being watched is over. Now, oh no. Uh, oh, oh no. Oh, TV. That's not I, good. I can't, can I get up? Oh no. Oh, it's your it's your room. Wait, is that that's, the back that's, of my that's, TV? That's, that, oh, that was your left, to your right, Will. I'm not looking. <laughs> you can't trick me, you mother. That's oh, your right. That? That's your right. Oh, it's behind you, Will. How is that behind me? It's it's, it's gonna walk in front shadow. of you. There's a shadow. There's a shadow. There's a shadow right there. <laughs> I hear static. <laughs> hey, that tree out there is really weird. What's that? That's my bedroom. Ah! Oh, hey, the game's oh, back. Sweet. Oh, man, my, it, I just got an Xbox, so it's a red ring. Worry. Everything's cool. You are about... Oh, I'm outside. Okay. <clears throat> You're about to be violated by a ghost. Oh, God. Oh, that's my shadow. Then I found him, the groundskeeper. His body was a mangled mess, and it looked as... D reading is not helping your case ...had been case meticulously well. removed. Oh, man, I don't want my insides meticulously removed. I like my insides where they are, inside. I, ha I went to the doctor so they could stay inside. It's crucial that I place the ass for a root in a pentagram and mark the floor with the appropriate runes. Only then will the exorcism be successful. <laughs> this is what's wrong with fucking video games today, man. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad the camera's <coughs> not on us. <laughs> We're like uh, the camera's on you. you jo he has Joey's like feed. practically in a fetal <laughs> position over here. Joey looks really nervous. Norm is cowering behind his mic. You guys are chicken I'm shits. I'm the only one that's keeping it. Who's You've keeping already it played cool. this, so you, you have no, uh, no uh, excuse. Didn't I already come through this room? There's like Diablo 3 all over here. Oh, it's pentagrams. Sweet. Okay, so I have to make a pentagram. What could possibly go wrong? This is going to be like the ring where I, after I finish this, it swallows my soul and I'm, I'm doomed for life. Or whatever, I die three days from now. Okay, I did the pentagram. Probably the jump scare is coming now. Should I be in the green mist or out of the green mist? In the think? green mist. It's a portal. I don't want to go to the hell. Oh, oh my shit's all saved now. That's cool. We're, we got it. We're good. Mission accomplished. All Creepy right, sky light, light on the door. Oh, my God. Green Doors opening. monster. What was that? That seemed like a corpse. I couldn't have been more wrong. The exorcism was worthless. Stay away. Get out. Must get out. Well, uh oh. That seems, uh oh. Static. Static. I don't. I don't. I don't want to play this anymore. This is where it gets good. I, I'd rather be someplace else. <laughs> Describe what you're you know? hearing. Well, I don't hear anything. I don't even hear the static anymore, which is really creepy. The fan's still turning. It's it's a five bladed fan. Oh, I hear a high pitched whining noise off to the left. You gonna look? You gonna look? Nope, nothing over there. Whew, that was close. That's when they get you, right? When you look to the left and you look back you look forward. Back. You think he's behind me? Should I look behind me? I wish I had a mirror. I don't want to look, I, but I'd look with a mirror. I feel like that's safer. Ah! Oh, why? Why did all the lights turn out? I don't know. It's much scarier now. Oh hey, press start. Oh, my game's back. Sweet. This is like the Stanley Parable. That's it. Wait, what? That's it? Yeah. The Why does this turn off? Dude, this game sucks. It's a really, really subtle effect that depends on being able to hear the speed, being, being able to hear the sound in the game, but the front door opens and like a ghostly apparition comes in and gets you. So you can hear it, you have but, to but, but the lights without, are off. Without the sound, you're not really going to get it. I have the sound. I didn't hear anything. All right, quit out of this one. I'm disappointed. Do you want to try oh. not let go? You have to be able to, you have to, be able to reach I don't the think I can reach the... It's, I, I'd have, well, okay, I'll do it. It'll be uncomfortable, but I'll do it. Did I just unplug the keyboard? Um, can we move the PC a little close to you? No, something? don't move anything because right. it's all held together with spit okay. and bailing twine. All right, so quit out of this. I don't know if I... I think I, I thought I did, but maybe not. You got, you got the mouse. I can't do it with the Yeah, that was not great. There's a lot of opportunity right, for there go. to be so super scary. So this is the one that's like Dune, right? Like what? Like Dune. Fear is the mind killer. Um, you got to open the, the folder. There's a folder that says... Yeah, you got to go to... D nope. There's a folder. Uh, two folders. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Up then, one. No, nope. That one right there. Yep. And then... No, click that. Yep. All right. Do you know where your control keys are? 
We'll, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Uh, press space, press to, space start. to start. So, uh, Hi, and thank you for playing my game. I'm a finished you just put it on with uh, headphones. And I'm going to talk to you for a bit. So okay. did you play all these at home, Gary? Oh. Uh, I, I let you go. have to hold down. The, you have to keep the hold. Well, shit. Held down. Oh, now my stuff's all crooked. Oh, they're doing annoying stuff to me. There's okay, buzzing. So bees. You got bees surrounding you. I hear flies buzzing around. My natural inclination is to swat at them. Oh boy. <laughs> now there are a lot of bees, and it is much more scary. Except for I do not have a fear of bees. I've been stung by 35 hornets at one time, and it was not that bad. Now all I can hear is the bees. I feel like my friends have abandoned me, and I'm surrounded by bees. There's a lot of buzzing. This is good commentary. It is very, very oh, I thought he loud. was just repeating what, uh, what was game was telling Oh, oh the buzzing's going away. That's okay, good. That's good. W watch it's, that door. I have to say, he did a nice job on the sound design, because I hear a lot of like buzzing and zooming around all around. Oh, something just bit me. It made a real crunching sound. Oh! oh. <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? Wait. If I don't move, he can't see me. I learned this from Jurassic Park. That's a pretty weak Velociraptor. He has tiny arms. And he can't really do anything to you because you're holding on to the keyboard. The keyboard makes you invincible. No, he's... Roar! D d no See, mating I calls. I him off. I told him to go fuck himself. Get away, Velociraptor. This is all, this is all just built up for dread holes. <laughs> this, dread is, holes um, this is probably a good time while I'm holding both hands on the control key in the most scary way possible uh, to mention that we're doing this for charity. That looks like it would have hurt. Ow. <laughs> nice K-bars, bro. Um, we do this for... Ch what's the, what's the guy maybe say? this isn't scary enough for me. No, it's not. He says, no, maybe I will try some more. He says that there's a giant spider that really wants to meet oh, me. Oh, it's getting dark. I'm still holding it on. And now there's a sign that says, warning spiders. Is it one giant spider? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm probably just going to close my eyes and keep holding control. <laughs> That's really the superpower in Oculus Horror. Um... We're doing this for the kids, for doctors, and for the electrons. Uh, we're supporting three charities. Hey, there's a fucking creepy-ass spider right there. Oh, do you feel it? Yeah, Some, someone no. blow on Will's hand. No, don't blow on my hand. Oh, it's coming up my arm. <laughs> oh, man. That's not good. That's not... That's not... That's not... Oh, it's on your back. Wait, come out the other side now. Come on. Oh, the sound is really... It's in my ear. I think it's going into my ear. I'm thinking about Wrath of Khan right now. The original one, not the bullshit. Is it now been my left recording? ear. recording? He, yeah, he's doing a nice job with moving the sound from side to side. It's, now it feels like it's inside my head. Oh, crunching. Oh, oh, that's a horrible sound. I really would like to take my hands off the control keys, but as a rational human being, I know that nothing's happening to me, and that giant spider was just virtual and not really eating my brains, although it is getting dark in here now. Well, knives are levitating. <laughs> There's fire. I don't want the fire. I feel like I should be able to blow the fire out. Is this a DS game? <sighs> uh, Child's Play, they give toys and games to children in hospitals around the world. Uh, the Doctors Without Borders is a great charity that brings uh, doctors and nurses and medical professionals to war zones and famine zones. Not the Johnson. That wasn't that scary. Is it really only 2 o'clock? Something's happening. That's a weird noise over there by my left ear. What is, now it's under my right ear. Why the clock and the three lights? There are four lights. Lights are going to turn on. Someone's going to be standing right next well, to you. I'm going to close my eyes. Tell me when the lights are on. Lights oh. Nope. Laptop's back. Lights are on. He says... Oh, he's going to try one more thing. He, th he, he psyched me out. He thought I was going to win. Now he's going to try one more thing. Wait. Whoa, spider on your face. Wow, that fucking sucks. That is the worst <laughs> thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you, you won. You well, won. I, can I let off the fingers now? Was that a trap? Yeah, it's it. I won. feel pretty good about that. That, was, no, that wasn't bad. Good. Spider on your face. That, that was the only thing. That was not so bad. I follow instructions. All right. Uh, escape to quit. Okay, where are we at? Uh, I think Dreadholes is all that's left. No, no, we got, uh, we've got Kraken. Yeah. We can release uh, the Kraken. A Kraken I actually haven't seen. All right. Okay. That's we'll the release one that Patrick hey. recommended, but it, it came after all the others. Hey, Gary. What? Uh, release the Kraken. I'm releasing it right now. 
Uh, if you want to donate to Child to Octobercast to help us support our 24-hour podcast marathon for charity, you can do so by going to tested.com slash Octobercast or tested.com slash kids to donate directly to uh, Child's Play, tested.com slash doctors. doctors for Doctors Without Borders, or tested.com slash electrons to donate to the Electronic Frontier Foundation. We really could use your donations, guys. Um, it's why we're doing this. Yeah, we're not here for fun. This That's isn't fun. Sure. It's really dark in here. Is that a horror from beyond the deep that I'm walking inside? Am I inside Cthulhu's ass? You might, you might very well be. Hey, this is how Bioshock started. There's always a lighthouse and a man. And unspeakable horrors from under the sea. I should be going toward the lighthouse, right? Yep. This, I, I mean, this, yeah, this I've never played before, so I don't know what to expect. Is that the sky? So okay, sky. Yeah, lighthouse is getting closer. Is this another jump scare? I'm, I'm disappointed Patrick leaned so heavily into the jump scares. Jump scares are the best. I also feel like I kind of am cheating because I have four people here, three people here with me. You know, the if you were doing this alone in a dark room in a house that was empty on a stormy night... All of this show would have been a lot scarier. That alone in the rift thing would have been terrifying. That was the scariest one so far. Uh, yeah, the spider at the end of the last one was pretty scary. This is taking a long time. The wave rendering is a little sketchy here. Yeah, I don't know too much about this one. Hmm. A lighthouse? Beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me. I mean, a lot of these stuff, a lot of, a lot of these horror oh, games are really just little tech you drowning? Demos. I don't know. Maybe I can breathe. Maybe I am the Kraken. You can't swim? There's, there's, some, there's some text in the bottom left-hand, right-hand corner. I can't see it. Is this a Hydra game? No. I don't know which way is up or down. Wait. There you go. There's the water. Emerge. I'm pretty sure I'm still going down. I'm hearing really crackly, staticky noise. I think that Space Slenderman might be coming out soon. Uh, now I'm hearing a kind of low gurgling noise, like a while ago when Gary was burpy. Now I'm hearing uh, like sonar noises, like ping, 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 ping. It's, it sounds like uh, submarine noises, basically. Like, you know, we put on the hydrophones in a, in a submarine movie. This can't be by design. I think it might be. I'm just keep going deeper. Maybe I am going to the bottom of the ocean. It's pretty poor design. Hey, I just passed Jim Cameron. I can barely see anything on the monitor yeah. here. Really There's dark. little specks of, of ocean crap floating by. This is pretty exciting so far. Oh, my God. Oh, oh that? my God. What's that? That is something enormous. I think somebody released the Kraken. I'm hearing all sorts of scary, dissonant music. It sounds like somebody's playing something on a saw. I wish I'd just stayed in my cave and not gone to the lighthouse now. It's too dark to see anything. It is pretty dark. Can you see anything in your... Goggles? I see the bubbles. I'm still going down, and the oh. music is really intense. Huh. See, there's bubbles right there. Yeah, I can see bubbles. That's all I can see, though. I feel like I should have probably died by now. Like if I was a human being. Now it's playing like, uh, remember the Skinny Puppy soundtrack from Quake 2? It sounds a lot like that. I wish I was on the surface. <laughs> I wish I could swim. Oh, I can still turn my head. Oh, uh, now it's making screaming noises in addition to the dis. Ah, oh, some eyes! That doesn't seem good. Those are eyes. Those are eyes for sure. I don't like that. Swim toward the eyes. The right center of the screen. I don't like that. I would have noped out by now. I don't, I don't think that anything good is going to happen here. Are the eyes getting closer? The music is really scary. It's really loud. It's super intense. It toward, go toward the eyes. I'm, I'm, I don't like those I'm eyes. I'm going toward the eyes as much as I... Are they getting bigger? No. I think we're waiting for the music to finish and reach its... Annoying crescendo. If this changed into dubstep right now and there was some sort of heavy, crazy drop, that would be... There we go. Now it's making like I siren really noises. Like eyes. I mean, it sounds like distortion. You guys can probably hear it a little. Oh, it's whoa. really fucking loud. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. The eyes are getting a little bit bigger very slowly. 
Like right they now, are getting bigger. they're like eight, 12, 15 pixels across. It's like one pixel. Oh wow, that is really loud. It's 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 coming getting it's real close. It's kind of hurting. It's so loud. Yep, those eyes are really big. Definitely what if this is closer. a Teletubby? Don't look at the eyes. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to look at? It's all that's here. Where's the sun? Bring the sun back. Oh, God damn. What kind of eyes are they even? They're like cat eyes, maybe? I don't like it, but they're getting bigger. I think they're in and out of focus, too. Come on, eyes. I feel like some, some fucked up shit's going to happen any minute. What do you got? Maybe, maybe they're, they're not eyes at all. Really disconcerting. Ugh. I'm bored of you eyes. Yeah, what's uh, they're, they're definitely getting bigger. Is that the whole game? I don't know. I wish it would hurry up and scare me. What's gonna happen? I'm hiding behind the microphone now. <laughs> Maybe there's somebody behind me. Oh no! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Hold on, maybe it'll be ah! ah! <laughs> They're a lot bigger. I don't think there's anything attached to them, though, so I feel pretty okay. What, what are those other eyes? I think those are ghost eyes. Those glitchy eyes? Uh, these eyes are attached to me now. I don't really feel like this is very scary. You think yeah, we've reached the end? What's supposed to happen next? I don't know. Does anybody in chat know? Oh. Oh, hey, I win. That's it? Well, that's All right, that was kind of Aww, overwhelming. Aw, that was just eyes. Okay, dread halls, and then I want food. Dread, dread halls is all that's next. Is all that's that's all we got. All right. All right, you ready? So, so far, Alone in the Rift was by far the scariest. By Were far. you alone alone? That was the house thing, right? Okay. No. Are you ready for dread halls? Yeah, why not? Bring it. Is this really scary, or is this, this is like all this other bullshit? One. So I'm told. Does this need audio? Um, can, we, can we try something? You want to try uh, something? We can try sending audio out to the, the crowd if, if you th think that's a possibility. I have one other idea of what's audio we can try. What's the idea? We're going to do a camera. A line through the kitchen. I don't, it's not going to show up. It's not going to show up? No. Open doors, right. inventory, sprint. Wow, this is like a real game. Yeah. This is the, this is the most okay. like, full-featured game. Okay. Oh, this is the dungeon crawler thing. Well, okay, I found a torch. I'm just gonna stay so if here. If you look down, you can see your map. I don't uh, have anything. My map doesn't have anything on well, it. You can see draws uh, as you go along. That's pretty cool. Do I have a torch? Yeah. Hold down Y. And look at the oil. And let let go Y. Let go of Y while you're holding it. There you go. Oh, okay. You've got a torch. It's a limited time. Yeah, I think so. You have to keep. You have to get more of the oil. So I can just look down at the map the whole time, and that's describe, cool, right? Des describe, the, describe the audio. Oh, God, there's a door. You can't use money on the door. I can use my lock on the door. Oh, this is a big room. Ah, oh, skeleton. Is he alive? Hey, buddy. <laughs> What's up? Joey. Hey, man. I got chained to this ceiling. Don't look to the other side of the this room. This really sucks. What's over there? It's a chest. I, I got... <laughs> ah! Ah! She's damaging me. <laughs> ah! She bit me. Well, that sucked. Is that it? Hey, I got a potion. More fire. Is there more to it than that? Man, I got cold chills and everything. That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> you gotta, gotta complete the game. I'm not completing the game. Are you fucking... The map is huge. You gotta oh, get through man, the entire heard, map. I just heard a really spooky noise from over there. I, I want to see what was in the oh chest. Oh, my God. The, the hallway is so narrow. It's, it's like, oh, God. Oh, another door. Don't open the door. <laughs> no. Too much good shit in here. It's okay. <laughs> get out of that room. It's making really scary noises. Close the door. Close the door. I don't want to close the door. I don't want to be trapped in there. Okay, this way. This stone keep would have made you been shit your pants scary with this thing. It's pretty dark down here. I'm hearing like insect noises from the left. I feel like that room on the left is probably bad news. Now your footsteps. Uh, ah! right. Oh, it's a huge monster. 
Zero oh, I'm totally fucked. Oh! oh! Hey! Oh, that's not scary. That's not as scary. That's not nearly as scary. I feel, like, scary I feel like I'm not really well no, no, no. to defend myself. Oh, Cre- hey, door. Creepy, creepy little girls are scary. Japan scary is a completely different set of scary. Do you have a number of lives on this, or do you just keep going, oh, I man, fog on the ground is never good. Never what you so want. Like collect more stuff? Oh, I can't get any more. I want loot. Oh, God, it's the skeleton again. Is the lady in here? No. I'm going to call her Marv. That doesn't make her any less scary. I feel like it might help a little bit. Norm, do you like scary stuff? Do you watch scary movies? Nope. Do you watch Kevin in the Woods? Yep. It's not yeah. a scary movie. It's not movie. a scary movie, right? Not yeah, a that's scary what movie. I said. I got in big trouble for that. Oh, there's a horrible growly monster noise coming from the left. The monster is not as scary as the. the I had a different monster noise. I wish the store would unlock faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Halfway? <laughs> Does the map show monsters coming up behind me? I'm not turning around. If I'm not, don't turn around, they, they won't know I'm here. Okay, well, this isn't. I feel right, like nothing I need, in I need here. some light. Yeah, okay. Oh, God, this room's enormous. And there's so many nooks and crannies. There's skeletons. I got Maybe the light oil. attracts the monsters? No. Oh, hey, I just got some money. I can buy a... Oh, my God, too many nooks. Too many nooks. I'm not looking out in the center of the room because that triggers whatever bad things are going to happen. No, 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 the nooks. The nooks. I'm checking all the nooks. Oh, don't, I wish I had a sword. Don't, don't check all the nooks. Is this a sword? Oh, I got a sword. Oh, fuck, I can't pick up the sword? That is such horse shit. What is that thing even? I, my map's in the way. My map is largely useless. And then I came open chests. What a fucking crock of shit this game is. This is the way out. Let's you need out to here. get out of here. Can I shut the door behind me? Yeah, shut the door behind me. Oh, my goodness. There's definitely something walking toward me, either maybe in the, on the other side of this wall on the right. I would give, it sounds like spiders. Fuck, I, I've seen, I, I can only go right. This music is really intense. Is, can you win this game, Gary? <laughs> Gary doesn't know. I'm pretty sure there's a monster down here, but I don't have a choice. This is very tense. Oh, there's definitely monsters in this room. It's her again. I'm running. No, just embrace it. I don't think she saw me. Oh, now I hear like spooky monster noises coming from that side over there. So I'm going to go this way. Oh, there are footsteps behind me. Oh, God. Right. Oh, please don't be a locked door. Oh, go faster. Please go faster. Ah! <laughs> That's not even alive. That's just a statue. Close Locked, door, close the door, door. Shut the door, shut the door. Oh, God. He moved. The statue moved. Oh, don't, don't turn your ah! back on him. Ah! Don't ah! turn your back on the statue. Ah! Uh, I don't want to. I, I, I want to not be here now. I hope this this goes someplace. Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, the statue's right there. He's right there. Don't turn your oh, back on the statue. Fuck beans! <laughs> I got it. There's a door. Oh, jeez! Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> don't turn your back on okay. it. Okay. Hey, fuck you, statue! Quit, quit eyeballing me. Oh man. <laughs> okay, I got I got a plan here. Watch this. I'm gonna ease around. <laughs> I think I'm unlocking the door. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> He's, oh, my ah! God. <laughs> ah! <laughs> just at that you. just made it worse. <laughs> he just looked at Is you. the door open yet? Oh, no. oh, God. I'm not even started. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, there we smoke. go. Door's open. Close Great. the door. Everybody wins. Close it, close it. Fuck you, Gargoyle. This game's totally winnable. <laughs> okay, where's the map? Let's go left. <sighs> This is, I don't like playing scary games. They're too scary. Is, is uh, the Oculus support for Doom 3 in yet? I don't think so. Okay. Feeling pretty good about this hallway. There's another door. Oh, Christ. Does Amnesia work with the Oculus? I don't think so. Mm. I mean, maybe with one of the hooks, but I, I can't play Amnesia. It's too fucking scary. This room's not Amnesia's even scary at all. It's just a chair. It is a really uncomfortable looking chair. Not that I know anything about that. Oh, I hate walking backwards. Backtracking, you mean? Or just walking backwards walking in general? Walking backwards. I'm going to take the left fork here. 
there's squeaky noises coming from here. I'm seeing floor fog, which can't possibly be good. Under, this door is just... Door. Oh, God. Watch out, what's in the room? Oh, it's just a torture instrument. Nothing, nothing. Ah! 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 Get away, get away! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I run so slowly! <laughs> run faster! We're like, we're like Scooby-Doo here. Oh, no, not one of these guys. Oh, Jesus. Use the oil to fuel your light. Okay. That seems like a good idea. Oh, yeah, okay. She's right behind you. No, she's not. Uh, I'll, can I make the gargoyle fight the lady, maybe? No, she's right behind you. Go, 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 go. I don't have anywhere to go. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, you don't corner very well, lady. <laughs> the gargoyle is going to totally fucking school me now, though. Oh, my God. This music don't is super around. intense. I have to. There's a door here. Is this the door I go through? No, this is a different door. Oh, my God. Please don't be locked. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't look back. Close it, close it, close it. Whew. That was close. <laughs> the music is crazy intense right now. <laughs> Gary's losing. Oh, God. Somebody's screaming. It's not like happy screaming either. Oh, God. She oh, can work the doors. Shadow. I feel like turning my light on was a horrible mistake because now she can follow me. Oh, don't, she, don't look back. She is definitely back there. She's really pissed and screaming, going, ah! <laughs> left or straight? Left. I've done a pretty good job exploring this map. I feel pretty good about oh, this. Oh, that's the door. It's locked. Close. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> I got oil. Oh, it's the exit. Oh, my God. Get out of there. I'm the greatest dead halls you player ever. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Oculus God, Horror. Yeah. <sighs> I'm done. I can't do any more. That's too fucking <laughs> trends. Oh, my God. You did pretty well under the circumstances. Oh, oh. That was terrifying. <laughs> that was the worst thing ever. Let's talk to this with the mic. I'll put it over here. I'm sure we'll do some more Oculus stuff later. That's a great place rather than bad. Dreadhalls, I think, is really the only Dreadhalls. horror demo that's really worth doing. Okay. Um, did you kill that mic? I'm going to run and grab a piece of pizza and a drink. I'll be right back. Oh, my goodness. That was good, right? That was good. That was, that was horror by proxy. Whew. Always, uh, always save dread holes for last. It's always those locked doors. You never know what's behind them. Even just looking down at the map, yeah. you know what you oh, see yeah. when you look up. Yeah. Ace move. I, I, the game kind of broke when Will was able to maneuver around both the gargoyle and the, the witch. Yeah. Yeah. I think Otherwise, gonna, you've been dead. I think it's going to be good. Once the Rift is actually a commercial product and they're making, like, you know, full production value mm -hmm. horror, horror games. games instead of just little tech demos, they'll be able to really mess with you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's too much for me. That's pretty intense. Man, that much scary works up a, and truck driving, just to be clear. You work up a sweat. That's, that's tiring stuff. Oh, um, we're going to sweat... Dread Hall is legitimately scary. Yeah. I, um, like, the, the whoever made that did a really nice job with the, both the monster design and they did just enough uncertainty, added just enough uncertainty to the lockpicking thing because it was different speeds each door. So you never knew how much time you had to do the lock. Mm -hmm. And it was scary every time as a result. Um, I don't like horror games at all. That's a good one. They're too scary. I think uh, Alone, Alone in the Rift is, was probably... It was up you there. think? You didn't, didn't know what to expect. It was open... It was, there was open territory. If they had put monsters anywhere else, you're just going from yeah, I dark like grass that. to dark grass. I can't play those games. I will it never built. play an Oculus horror game. Or even anything that has that kind of atmosphere. It's too much for me in, in the Oof. Rift. Way too much. Oof. It's exhausting. Yeah. Exhausting just watching that. All right, what's next? Um, I don't know. We got like that, that was supposed to last about two more hours than it did. <laughs> um, I'm not playing. What, any what time is it now? And, uh, and how long do we have till Lego? We could start Lego early. Well, what time is that? What what time is that supposed to start? Six a.m. Eight a.m. on the East Coast. People are awake. Hey, welcome East Coast viewers. I'm gonna tweet. Sounds like a good idea. It's Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. People are watching Saturday okay. morning cartoons. 
let's do a little recap for the people who've missed uh, October cast so they know that they've missed maybe they'll come back and watch the archives later um we stuff uh, in this for the first hour we had oh, a God, good that feels like so long ago it feels like a whole day ago yeah. it was yesterday Came along and now we had a good chat. Yeah, we talked about we had some uh, some frank, honest talk about the Wii U, yeah, and next gen. Yep. And I I actually looking at the titles available on the Wii U and the titles available for PS3 and Xbox One. If you're not into Battlefield Four or Call of Duty and want to play those games on next gen, like, and you're buying one console this year and you're probably gonna buy another one next year, I think you could do worse than the Wii U right now. Uh... Maybe not very worse. But like, if you're looking at that, I mean, what are you playing on the PS4? Unless you, who's really into Killzone? And I like the PS4. I mean, there's a lot of indie games which I like. I'm into that. If you only, if you only would buy one machine this holiday, and all you were concerned about was 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 what you could play over the holiday period, mm -hmm. I would say get a Wii U. Yeah, but that's not future. That's not, that's not a. But that's, that's a very short term yeah. way to to. to it's not a long term view. That's true. If you only if you're only gonna buy one console right now, and you just wanted the safe bet, without any information about what kind of thing you were looking for, I would say get a PS4. Because I feel like the Xbox One strategy is potentially very interesting, but also potentially huh? very risky. Like what? Well, uh, whereas PS4 is just here's a really good games console, and that's everyone understands that. I tend to agree with you on that. Plus, I hate the fact that the Xbox One looks like a fucking VHS player from the 19. I don't care about that at all because that that shit it goes in a cabinet. I'm never. It able does, to but again. like you know, it really, that's the best design they could come up with. Just a, just a black box. Is my face all super red? Yeah, it's all fucked up. Great. Is it still red? Like right here where Veronica hit me? No, no I think it's from wearing the goggles. Because that like it that's, still that's hurts. Goggles. Just so you know, like that that's a mark yeah. I mean, that she got go you away. good. I, I'm a little disappointed that I haven't seen a single replay of the uh, Drew slap yet. Mm, uh, I think it up, didn't upload properly. Oh, it didn't oh, go really? to YouTube? I sent it to YouTube. I got it. Oh, Joey got it. Okay. It will be played soon. Um, All right. So, Brad, yeah. So, we had some straight talk about next gen. Keeping it real. After Brad, uh, Dave Snyder came by and we talked about how much Dave's hard on himself. Let's just, let's just say that up front. Dave, Dave is his own harshest critic. I personally think his work on the Giant Bomb logo and the Tesla logo quite good screen logo even quite good combine great i think dave is a better logo designer than he thinks he is logo designs are hard though um then what did we talk about we talked about his trip to europe where he abandoned his child with his parents went there for 10 days went to oktoberfest highly recommended it seemed seemed like a lot of fun he said to take nine friends though which is a lot of people to go to oktoberfest with if you're in, into california but whatever after Dave was here, Colin Campbell came by. We talked more about game stuff, but serious business game stuff. Uh, future of consoles. Colin seems to think that we've reached like an inflection point where consoles as we know them may not exist in the future. Yeah, I, kinda... uh, I'm never comfortable making that kind of prediction. I feel like that's above my pay grade. I have no idea what's going to happen. Right now, all of the, you know, Sony and Microsoft are betting on one, at least one more generation of traditional AAA console mm -hmm. games that you play on a big expensive box. Well, the way miniaturization is happening, the way ARM is getting faster, and we're getting more capable GPUs in, built into ARM processors that do take very low power, there's nothing to say that the next Xbox after this one isn't like a little Apple TV-sized puck. Yeah, but the, ne but the next one after this one could be eight, no, eight more years away. That's what I'm saying. But it could just be a download thing that has some flash storage on board. You download the game, play it on a, on a like. It doesn't need to be this big monolithic box that draws shitloads of power. I think depends if it's running. Chance. I think there's a good chance this, locally or there's a good chance this could be the last generation that looks like all the other ones mm -hmm. before it. Because if Amazon does bring out its Android set top box and Apple does something in terms of like a you know a set top box that plays iOS games or whatever, uh, then things are going to look. I don't start think to look different very quickly. Infrastructure in the United States in the next five years or five to ten years is going to be developed enough to do anything but rendering locally. I, I agree with you. What I'm saying is that because the processing power that you get per watt is going up still, we're going to see machines that are small, low power, lightweight machines that are more capable than what's going into what is essentially a, a, 
a mid-range PC with some custom parts on on this current this next gen of consoles, and and in another eight or ten years, that could be a phone size thing. Think about the time from the Xbox 360 launch to now. You know, my PC around the but Xbox we didn't put 360 the Xbox, launch. We, we didn't put the Xbox 360 hardware in a small box, and that's not this generation console. Yeah, but but what I'm saying is, my phone now is you know not it's it's not outside the ballpark of the Xbox 360 hardware in some key stuff. Like, there's nothing to say that and I, I would as say, ARM I would continues say to accelerate. Is, I would say that it's not outside the Xbox 360 hardware in some stuff, but definitely not the key stuff. Mm, I, I don't know enough to say accurately at this point because I'm really tired and I don't think I can do the math right to get to get that right with um, GPUs and stuff. It uses a completely different kind of renderer that's much lower power. You know, the the uh, ARM CPUs almost all are using power VR style processors and it's, it's, it's a little bit apples to oranges. But the end result is that you can produce a game that takes a lot of pixels and looks pretty good. Um, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. Say in eight years, we'll see ARM processors that are rendering games at 1080p plus with good scalers and that they put into a, a Apple TV size box. I mean, it's a long way off. It's a, it's a wild ass guess. It's five o'clock in the morning. It's time for wild ass guesses. Yeah, um, I don't think we can really be held to any predictions we make at, at 5.30 in the morning. I like I like where your head's at, Gary. Let's get crazy. And then you can make predictions with impunity. Yeah. Uh, so after Colin, Jeremy Williams came by, we talked about uh, his, his uh, well, we talked about pinball a lot. Yeah, I, le I, I learned there was a whole community that, uh, that mods uh, pinball machines. Did you know there are communities yeah, on the internet for everything? Roms. What? There's a community on the internet for pretty much everything. Oh, I yeah. learned tonight that there are communities on the internet that share pornography. I had no idea. Amazing. I mean, you really can't find anything on the internet. Romance. Mm -hmm. Shapeshifter romance. Yeah, that was a good one. Do you think both sides are shapeshifters or just one I of don't the know. Of You the should couples? have asked that while, while Veronica was still here. It's too bad. I wish I had. Um, so Jeremy uh, taught us about pinball machine ROMs and also brought in his uh, Pixel box, which mm -hmm. everyone's you know very keen to see be a real product that they can buy. Can't wait to see. I can't wait till he puts a it really or whatever great. he ends up doing with it. Yeah. Um, it, it, if you see the, go back and look at the video footage of that, but make sure you watch until we get to the lights turned down because it looks much better in a natural lighting situation. It looks awful. It looks a little washed out in the in the studio lighting situation. Under our cameras. Mm -hmm. um, Jeremy came by, we love Jeremy. Lloyd Case came by, we talked about board games. That was the birth. Of Space Rocks. Of Space Rocks. That's where Space wow. Rocks was born. You can pinpoint it to the exact yeah. moment. Yeah. It happened live. And in that, and, and in that time, Space Rocks has uh, spawned a Twitter account mm -hmm. with 435 followers. Nice work. Th it's also three sp Space Rocks games have been I've made. I've seen three different Space Rocks games, including a, um, a quite impressive... Did you see this one, Will? Mm -mm. Check it I out. I was wearing the Oculus for the last two hours. It's like a milled hours. acrylic Space Rocks. Wow, that's board. amazing. Yeah. You got stars on the board. How can she slap? Tentacle porn, see? Oh, okay, yeah. Tentacle porn. Pawn. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a thing. Um, I think there's a I think there's a real groundswell of community support behind Space Rocks at this point. I think the Kickstarter uh, is assured. Really, I mean, all, all I've got to do is put it up, and it's going to get funded. So I have I have. Um, I'm thinking I could probably like put up a crazy number, like a million dollars, isn't it, and get it. I, I, I wouldn't <laughs> go a million dollars. So well, uh, uh, Space Rocks, like coffee you can buy, and they make it open source. First, you need to find out how much rocks cost. That's phase one. Phase two is finding out how much cardboard costs. And then talking to Jeremy's people in China to see if he can get them to manufacture it. And then I'm going to advise, and this is a little crazy, I think you might want to consult your attorney. About what? Uh, the litigious nature of American culture and the dangers what? involved with space rocks. There's no dangers involved. I think in a no holds barred type situation, you need to make people sign some sort of disclaimer. I, I, I said that. I said it. that earlier. People I don't mean like, the contestants. I mean sign waivers. indemnifying you from any liability. Oh yeah, when you buy the game, you'll they'll, they'll, the terms and conditions will be There's you know shrink wrap license. Any violence, outside. any any injury or death that might result. Mm -hmm. What's your T-shirt? What do you mean? Space Rocks T-shirt. I don't know. It's it'll space probably just say Space Rocks on it. I play Space Rocks. Let's Space Rocks. Uh, let's play Space Rocks. I think I think the catchphrase is Let's Rock. That's a good one. Let's space rock. No, see, that doesn't work that space way. Space rock is a verb. Maybe I could get Dave Snyder anything. to do the logo. If you donate to Octobercast. Yeah, he can do it for me. I don't think we made that goal. I don't think he's going to do it. 
I'll, I'll just hire him. You can do I'll, that. I'll just you hire him out money. my Kickstarter money. Mm-hmm. It can so be your first There's, there's going to be plenty of it to go around. Um, okay. All right, so that was Lloyd. Space. space did uh, I, did, what else did Lloyd talk about? We talked about board games. We talked about a ton of great board games. He, he brought a copy of Smash Up Expansion that we can give away to uh, uh, as part of the uh, Octobercast raffle. Should um, talk about the raffle? So if you want to enter in the raffle, all you yes. have to do is donate. That's it. Donate. Check it out. Any enter of the three the charities. It already has its own website. Is that the website for? That? Fully supports frames. That's great. <laughs> oh my goodness. Was this already there? Has it has the Space Rocks Twitter? Th- no, this is for, this is for my version. <laughs> is this what you've been doing all night? I haven't done anything. This is the community. <laughs> Space the Rocks spoken. This Kickstarter. Thing makes itself. Welcome. I love the Oculus Rift of the support. Times New Roman. I bet we could get a Max Temkin quote. Space Rocks is a game. There's 3D vision. Oh my goodness. This is wonderful. I don't even know what to say about Space Rocks. Space Diamonds. <laughs> That's the, when they're going to be the first expansion. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a sack of glass that you mix in with the rocks. The giveaways so far. Giveaways. We have almost too much stuff to count. We have a Stein of Science. Uh, Phil Broughton uh, gave us one of those last year, Funranium Labs. It's he a makes a butt of the earth. It is a door. It has a millionth of an atmosphere of, of, uh, of air inside the glass. How does that compare to something like a Zojirushi? It has a tenth of an atmosphere of air inside the glass. So is it ten times as efficient? No, it's in a thousand million times. As efficient as Zojirushi? Yeah. So you it's could, a million you could times put, as efficient. You could put a beer in there right now from the fridge, and it'll be cold until after October cast. It'll be cold if you put the lid back on. If you put the lid on, it'll be cold until, you know, let's say 6 p.m. tonight. Could put cold beer in right now. Drink it all day. That's what that's what the Stein of Science does. Uh, of science. Also, if you want to carry some liquid nitrogen around, you can do that too. It's got that power as well. Uh, so that's part of the giveaways. Bill Dorn, Chinbeard, who's going to be on in an hour or so if we can figure out how to get this video working. If not, then he'll be on audio. Um, but Bill donated one of his space guns from his Kickstarter. That's this right here, space gun. It has tested written on the side. Uh, it has a removable clip. He designed this himself. He did. Very neat. It's Ooh. Mass Effect styling, is that what you would say you think? I'd say it's, it's science fiction, space gun styling. It looks like it, it would fit in the Mass Effect universe. Tested. I love this texture mm-hmm. right here. This paint job is excellent. This detail right here. Is that a specific kind of paint he used for that, you think, Norm? Yes. It's spray paint. Hmm. Interesting. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? We have um, a makeup kit. So Norm applied a scar to his arm earlier tonight. It, uh, it didn't really that, match his that skin was, tone that, that well. That was an interesting experiment. There's, um, a makeup kit from mm-hmm. Smooth On right here. We have Smash Up. The Smash Up Smash expansion. Up. It's a standalone expansion, though, so you can play it with two players by yourself. And we have a skateboard. I think Joey, uh, Joey has a picture, maybe, of the skateboard. That's be- it was made today wow. during the, the uh, Octobercast. The really? first half of Octobercast, made from scratch. Made from a piece of wood. That's really quite something. And maybe... Um, are we going to see it? Joey might not I'm, be on I'm, the controller I'm, right I'm now. He might be resting. Crossing my fingers. Getting some sign. Joey. Joey's, Joey's not there. Oh, he's, uh, he, uh, he's working on it. He's working okay. on it. Um, and any other giveaways we might have? Um, uh, uh, yeah. So oh, there goes the skateboard. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Oh, that's great. It's got painted, the heads. It's painted and, it's and etched. It's got tested guys on it. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, we also have another good Andreas board. Exberg. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give a, um, a shout out to his uh, Facebook, actually, uh, where you can find more information about his designs. He does also posters. Uh, it's a longboard, not technically a skateboard. And it's a happy crowd cl- cloud, happycloudcruiser.com. That's happycloudcruiser.com. Uh, we also have some other things, more art. Uh, Scott Johnson of Extra Life, the, the comic strip, uh, online comic, uh, has donated three, I think they're 20-inch by 30-inch prints, so they're pretty big. Um, and he has, uh, there's three of them, they're all game-related. One is called Tools of Destruction. It is Wiley Coyote using a portal gun because, you know, that is a tool that I think Wiley Coyote can finally take out the Roadrunner with, assuming he had some moon dust. Uh, one is called the Blue Prophecy, uh, and it is a spiny blue shell. Oh, there we go. This is the Blue Prophecy. The last shall be first and the first last, Matthew 2016. I don't know if that's actually a Bible quote or not, but 
just on the poster. Uh, can we get tools of destruction destruction up, Joey? We already had it. Oh, you already ran it? Okay. Um, that's tools of destruction. I think it captures the essence of the Acme portal gun. And finally, we have Breaking Batman. That's awesome. Topical and relevant. Um, I, I like what's happened here. Uh, Batman apparently is selling meth and... and uh, I like the fly uh, swatter. Jesse. Where's the fly swatter? It's on his belt. Oh. I didn't get that far in the show. I had to stop watching it. It was too intense for me. We've talked about this, I know. Flash Water's not on the show. Oh. Well, you know what? You're right. No, no, I'm wrong. It is on the show. It's one of the Ryan Johnson episodes. I'm sorry. Mm. So um, that's where we're at. Do we have anything? I feel like we're forgetting something. I'm sure we are. Uh, well, hold on. How far do we get up to here? What in terms mean? of guests or in terms guests of giveaways? Guests or giveaways. Oh, well, well, we aren't even to guests yet. Okay, so uh, Carl Merriam. He was, was interesting. A Lego builder. Yeah. Awesome. You met him at, um, at Bricks, Bricks by, by the, the Bay. Bay. He brought his Lego Cthulhu. We talked about how he went from just building, buying Lego kits and building them to designing his own. And uh, he brought us this amazing tested Lego um, sign, which we'll put pictures up on the website because you really have to get up close to appreciate how this is actually it's constructed. Cool. It's not just like layers of bricks. Mm -hmm. so there's some weird geometry going on. Uh, that's unfortunately not a giveaway. We're keeping that for the office. The... Um Orange bricks are hard to come by. Like, there's not many sets that have orange bri bricks that are that color orange. I've been looking for... Because that is tested orange. It's like the pure nuclear orange. And, and it's a little bit tough to find. So, um, yeah, he did a great job with that. He said he had something like 250-some thousand bricks. 225,000 bricks. Which is a lot of bricks. Um, let's see. What else? After Carl, um, he we had Brad Muir. Brad Muir's always great. He's always, always He's entertaining. He's always so cheerful. Talk about Weight Watchers. Yeah, we talked about Weight Watchers. We talked about... Um, gamification. Uh, gamification. Gary pitched Space Rock to Brad, and Brad played role-played a publisher. So he yeah. gave him the full business. Tough, tough crowd. 30 seconds. You had 30 seconds. You totally whiffed. And you're, you've done real pitches before. You've done Hollywood pitches. Well, yeah, how how did that compare? Get longer than 30 seconds. So, how do you think uh, Brad's game pitch compared to like a real Hollywood pitch? What's that? The reception. Yeah. Did you have a good? Did people sit and watch their phones during Hollywood pitches, or not so much? Uh, no, generally they're more respectful than mm. that. They That's don't nice. sit there with their phones. Okay. But you can sometimes tell that they're not really paying attention. Mm. Like they ask you questions about things that you were said. Yeah. Well, they just you know if they're not interested, they you know you can just tell they're just kind of distracted, just kind of waiting for it to be over. Wow. At some point, is there a point where it's like, you know, it's like, oh, I'm not going to waste anyone's time. I've never, I've never done that. Although I've been, I've been in pitches that are, that seem really bad, and like the guy just wasn't interested. And then afterwards, I'd said to like the assistant or whatever, "Oh wow, he really didn't like that pitch." Huh? And I said, "Oh no, he was like, trust me, he he was into it. Like if he didn't like it, he would have thrown you out halfway through." Like, <sighs> Holy shit! Really? Yeah. Just yeah. stop right there. Yeah, you never know. You can never, you can never yeah. read a room. Mm -hmm. Um, so Brad was interesting. Roger Brad's Chang. always good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, I can't talk comic what we books. Roger about. Talked about comic books. You guys talked about the guy getting shot on Muni. Oh, you talked about movies a lot. I kind of was checked out during that period. Yep. Talk about superhero movies. Mm -hmm. uh, little pop culture stuff. Roger's kind of a deep thinker. I found. He, yeah. Not, he, not, he, not, really, he, not really my cup of tea. He likes. He likes. <laughs> he likes to think about um, the story behind the story behind the story, not just the story behind the story. Um, after Roger Veronica Belmont was here, I feel like we really kind of kicked into high gear around nine o'clock this year. Um, Veronica was really the first, the first real high point of the of the night. Hey, I thanks, think. thanks, Brad, Dave, Colin Campbell, Jeremy Williams, Lloyd Case, Carl Marion, Brad Muir, Roger, and Roger Chang, though, for coming by. Well, they were all great <laughs> for the first but eight Veronica hours of the show. Veronica provided the first real showstopper moment of the night by slapping. Are you, you saying in the, the face. act of violence that was wrought upon the right side of my face? That's what the people wanted. Really, they voted really with their dollars. Consider it violent yeah, it when there's like good intent behind it. Also, we learned that Veronica's left-handed. Yeah, just like me. Uh, evil people. Got the same birthday as well. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Um, okay, so Veronica hit me. We talked about books. She, 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 after all the talk about how she was kind of nervous about doing it, she ended up, A, giving you a pretty good slap, and B, seemed to really enjoy herself doing it. We went through the whole, hey, you know, let's see a practice one because I wanted to see what kind of what kind of yeah. So she kind of she kind of did right. an air slap a couple of times, and I was like, no, no, dial it down like twenty percent from there. It's too fast. Yeah, 
And then she she forgot to dial it down. I yeah, think. she still she still I got the full. And she was just sitting down as well. I think she. Uh, I'm she glad leaned she wasn't standing. It. Yeah. Well, because the thing that happens. It was a good slap. Were you were you surprised by how much of a slap it was? Were you you're always. Less? I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Anytime you get slapped in the face, you're surprised. Yeah. Even when even, you know even it's when you, even when you're sitting there braced I, for it. Having been slapped in the face now three times <laughs> in my lifetime, but by three different people. Um, I can tell you every time, even when you say, "Hey, just do it," you still you're still surprised because you think no they're not really going to slap you in the face and then they do yeah and then and then so that was good we talked about books we talked and about uh, books. got some the good whole, recommendations the whole, genre, the whole subgenre of like erotic science fiction are you interested seems like it could be an interesting avenue is your interest peaked um i don't think it's the sort of thing i would read do you think you'd option some of that stuff make a you know Bring in an existing audience. Well, I mean, think about it, right? Science fiction mm-hmm. is, a, is a hugely popular genre, yeah. right? Why not? Fifty Shades of Grey, that's a b- big success. So you could, take, you could say, like, okay, it's Star Wars. Fifty Shades of Klingon. Meets Fifty Shades of Grey. That's, that, to me, is a license to print money. Many Bothans died to make this rug and necktie. Yeah. That's all I know about Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. So I'm thinking. So I'm thinking that could be a way to go. There could there could be a, a very lucrative, uh, either that or what 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 was it I pitched? Miss Congeniality meets. I think. Um, oh yeah. Something else. The Terminator or something. I can't remember. Predator. What it was. No. But that that felt like a good. God, I don't remember. You were supposed to write it down, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> you're like this. See, this is what happens. I don't write down my great ideas. But I do th- I do think like a a, a a sexy science fiction movie. We haven't really seen that since what Barbarella. There's probably a reason for that. You consider, um, what was that Pamela Anderson with Tank Girl? No, she wasn't. Barbed was Wire. Barbed Wire. Yeah, that's, that wasn't good, though. Okay. I'm saying you could do it, but classy. I don't, okay. Okay. But anyway, that's so a, I, think that, I think that's a genre of fiction that's worth exploring. I didn't know there was, there was that much. But that's what that whole podcast that they do is about, is nothing but that Vaginal kind fantasy. of like I think it's fantasy Fabio stuff. in it's, space, yeah, it's space bo- bodice-ripping space type porn. erotic fiction. Bodice-ripping. I've I never heard of that phrase until well, tonight. It's because you wear the no. bodice and then you, it has buttons. It's a very, so very popular off. term Fabio, for that kind yeah. of uh, erotic fiction. Before he was selling I Can't Believe It's Not Butter, Fabio was on the cover of many romance novels. Oh, that was one of the more interesting chats that we had about whether you would rather eat Ten sticks of butter, or do <laughs> or heroin? Do heroin once? Once, just once. Yeah, I'm scared your, of heroin. Your choice of how you who is that? Who, who did we ask that? That was Dave Snyder, right? Enter the dragon, and he picked heroin, right? Uh, he did choose eventually. I said that. Heroin. I, I said, oh no, I said enter the dragon meets. Um, Every, uh, actually, enter the dragon. No one, no one chose butter. Everyone said they would rather. I do chose heroin. butter. Did you? Oh, fuck, I'm a heroin. No way, man. What are you worried no about? Needle drugs, addiction, lifelong addiction. Whether you just like one, one, yeah, one hit and you're yeah. hooked. That's I took in 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 America when I was a kid. We had this thing called drug abuse resistance education. Dare is what they called it. Of course. And the purpose of the program was to teach you, was to inform children so that they would make smart decisions about drugs. I think the idea was that we were supposed to just say no. But what really ended up happening is they taught us which drugs were the kind of drugs that you could try and no ill effects would happen. And which drugs were the kind of drugs that would leave you in a lifelong addict situation, homeless on the streets doing hand jobs for crack. So heroin firmly falls into the hand jobs for crack category. Right. Whereas other drugs, which I'm not going to get into here because, you know, kids. Don't tell kids what drugs. Yeah, don't do You should you should take dare in high school if that's what you wanted to learn. You get great T-shirts. I don't think they do that anymore because they they realize the mistake. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so... Somebody just pointed out, that was a good point. Mass Effect basically belongs in that kind of vaginal fantasy genre because yeah. it's science fiction. You can, but it has, you know, romance. erotic romance you can have, as well. You, you can, can have, have lots of sex. Make, make happy time with the, with the androgynous blue woman. Yeah, interspecies the, the, sex going on yeah, all over the place. All over the place. No, yeah. no shapeshifters, though. Uh, a good shapeshifter could have really changed up the Mass Effect No, sex although universe. in Star Trek VI... Kirk did hook up with a shapeshifter. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it was implied that he actually... Well, I mean, I don't know if they, I think in, they in the, in the, like in the prison, full in the Klingon coitus, prison, but they definitely hooked up. Really? Yeah. In the undiscovered comp. Uh, by the way, Norm, you an apology. Not you called it the frontier. final frontier the other day, which was the bad Shatner directed one. That was the space god. Yeah, space god. Undiscovered that has some country. Good moments in it, but it's not a good movie at all. Um, okay, so that was in Klingon space prison. Then the idle thumbs came by. Idle uh, thumbs were good. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Jake Rodkin, Chris Remo. 
We kind of went all, we were all over the place with those guys. Yeah. Email accounts, puckering. Was that yeah. where we talked about lemon party? We talked party? about lemon party and... Uh, <laughs> it looks like you're reviewing notes. And like, uh, Goatsy. Go, we had a lot of Goatsy talk. And Meat Spin. And, uh, we, I don't we, know we enjoyed, ever seen Meat Spin, but I'm we, okay. We enjoyed looking over the legendary Space Jam website that's still up. I can't believe that that's still up. They talk about that on Idle Thumbs a lot, though. I, it the, is kind of nuts that it's still there. I mean, it's a 15-year-old website at this point. It's older than that. When did Space Jam come out? 96? Yeah. Jordan was still playing basketball then. Yeah. I, um... I listen to podcasts in the car, so when people talk about websites, I never ever go visit the website because by the time I get home, and like I greet the wife and child, I always forget to go look at the website that people were just talking about. So I've it's fascinating about this. to go back and be reminded of what websites looked like, you know, in the in the mid '90s when the web was really just getting going. Yes, that is true. Everything was just just bad, just bad links and sparkly backgrounds that made text impossible Blink to read. Blink tags, web counters. Look what we have now. Hit counters. How many hits does your website have, Gary? Oh, that's right. I remember hit counters, yeah. Mm-hmm. Extreme tracking. Getting a hit counter on your website was how you knew you'd hit it big because you had CGI bin capability. That was hard shit back then. Running scripts on the internet on the server side, a little bit tricky. You remember when frames became a thing? This browser now supports frames. That was a Remember we went deal. from tables to frames and Back then immediately dropped frames because frames were fucking awful. Frames lasted for like Netscape three, right? I mean, it was it was a real short lived. I mean, everything supports frames now because nothing ever goes away, but it was a real short lived thing. The frame. Yeah, frames. Frames. Okay, so we talked about the way things used to be with the thumbs. We talked a little bit about how awesome the Stanley Parable is, which everybody should play. We'll talk about more with Jeff Green, I'm sure. I think Jeff's going to want to talk about it. Um, what else did we talk about? We talked about uh, uh, Jake Jake's new company. Chris's, well, we didn't talk much about that. Well, as much as he could talk about. We talked about Chris's game, Space Base, DF9. Well, and Jake's game, too, and other people that do Double Fine, uh, which is pretty good. Developer yep. Diaries. Developer Diaries. The changing face of games development. So yeah. Deep issues. And then uh, Roberto Baldwin, who Robbie I don't Baldwin. really know, but he's he's been a October cast regular. Right? He's an interesting fellow. He is an interesting guy. I love the yeah. fact that he's in, LC, in an LCD system, sound system cover band. Yes. Like and, how many and he's been doing it for a long time, too. Yeah. yeah. Like it's it's it, they have a following. Yeah, and the I mean whole he's thing. fully committed to that. It's a, it's a, I, I approve. I think yeah. it's good. And he grew up in the. And he looks thing. a little bit like Michael Shannon, which I think is kind of cool. <laughs> he does have a Michael Shannonish vibe. Yeah, yeah. Like he could totally like uh, go to General Zod for mm. Halloween if he wanted to. He's very tall. I would do that. Yeah. If I looked like Michael Shannon, I would just. Would you go as seventies like General Zod. Zod or modern General Zod? Well, if I looked like, if obviously if I looked like Michael Shannon, I'd yeah. go as the modern one. Well, I know, but, but I would prefer. To look like Terrence, Terrence Stamp. Yeah, Terrence Stamp is like a, the is, true, yeah, the true Zod. Is a dope, the one General true Zod. Zod. If you went as General Zod, would you, would you like carry around a big piece of glass that could go in front of you, so it looks like you're f- getting sucked into the Phantom Zone all yeah. the time? Yeah, and no. then I would, I, I would come, I would enter the Halloween party with that and have it like spinning. Going, the meow, ah, I'm in the Phantom Zone, and then I would, but it would, and yeah. I would break it, and I would escape, and I'd go to the barn. The prison was the rings, the the. The restraints in the beginning of Superman 1. Two. It was, oh. it was a crazy Well, no, there's like a, they, they get covered in that, that foil sheet that envelops yeah. them, and that becomes the Phantom Zone. Right, but when they were like going on in the, uh, in the, uh, the court system. Yeah. When they're standing Well, those trial. rings are just keeping them held yeah, there. Yeah, I love those rings. But though. then the rings go away, mm. and the Phantom Zone right. aluminum right. foil comes down and gets And then them. he falls into a pit. In the Fortress of Solitude at the end of Superman 2. Yeah, it gets uh, he, the uh, big Superman guy. tricks him. Yeah. Yeah, I always had a hard time believing that just falling down those pits would kill yeah. them. I mean, they still have their superpowers. Oh, no, the, no, wait. The superpowers get taken yes, away. Yes, yes. Yeah. The problem right. with Superman 2 is that there are a lot of bullshit powers that Superman doesn't have. Like, he has the thing where his super, his S goes out and wraps up a guy. He has missile hands or something. There's a lot of weird stuff in Superman 2. Um... Okay, so uh, Roberto, Alexis, and Drew came. Something that was another happened. great segment. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, drunk it, guests are always going to be good value. Let's just say, at the end of that segment, somebody got slapped twice, and a habanero was eaten. Yeah, and before that segment, a uh, forklift was driven. I don't think they. I think it was just part. I think out Alexis there. definitely felt like he had something to prove because he said, "Ah, oh, how I can eat a pepper." 
and he did it. And I don't think he expected it to be as spicy I, as it was going to be. I don't think eating peppers is ever a good idea and then he after took you've a been good, drinking that good, much. Uh, then he took a good slap, although Drew kind of pulled it a little bit. Drew whiffed and the to, first one. And to one. Alexis's credit, he said, like, that, we wasn't, have the footage? that wasn't good enough. I still haven't seen the replay, but I want to see it. I don't know if we have it queued up yet. Joey might, I hope Joey's asleep or resting or something. Because Joey has the shit end of this whole stick. He's, he's no, in let's the Let's not ask room. for it. Yeah, poor Joey. Yeah, I shouldn't have asked for it. I we'll, apologize. We'll, we'll, we'll review the tape later. Um, okay. And then Phil Broughton. Phil Broughton. Phil Broughton's great. Uh, Stein of Science. We, talk, we learned about Antarctica. Very interesting fellow. Norm, this I, is I, what, I, didn't, I didn't hear much of that Phil Broughton conversation. You have to go and watch it. It was a really good... We're gonna have, I, we've arranged I've, it. I've talked to him before. He's going to be on the podcast. Oh, you were, I was, I was starting the truck. Some right. Norm was truck driving. He was doing the heavy lifting over there. Delivering some goods. We talked about um, Do you feel coffee? like you got any of the benefit of the black blood of the earth? Because both my, my, my hand was shaking. Uh, yeah, I, don't, at some I, part. I don't like that stuff. It's too much for me. It was a lot of black blood of the earth. One vial is what? One vial is what you should drink. Two cups of coffee? Three cups of coffee. Three cups of coffee. I don't know. I can't remember. Whew. Uh, one of the so effects. look, I think if we've learned anything, yeah. we need more slapping. Mm-hmm. No. And more hot peppers. No, yep. no, because those no, no, have been no. clearly the fan favorite, yep. the most successful parts of the night. How are we doing in terms of uh, donations? Because we, we need to set that milestone. We, need, we haven't hit 15,000 yet. No. We need to hit 15,000. We haven't hit 20,000 yet either. I think we probably hit 15,000 by now. Uh, I don't know. Somebody needs to do the, run the numbers. Okay. I got a calculator and I got the thing. 3247 for Electronic Frontier Foundation plus uh, Five, six, 45. Eight, 94 for Child's Play plus 5689. So we're at 13530. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I feel like we, were, we had a really good pace going into like hour 10. And it slowed down. Well, this is all. I mean, this is this is the pattern every year. This is what we, we need to take some calls from Western Europe. Get those guys cranked up and excited and ready to go. We may have missed that while I was driving the truck. Missed yeah, I think window. I think we I think we spent too long driving a, a truck across Europe. I feel like that was pretty good content. <laughs> Do you enjoy the truck driving? I I might have fallen asleep had I not been driving the truck, which really says something about how awesome that game is. Because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I could probably take a nap right now. I did feel sorry for Norm. He was really struggling towards the end of that that hour. It's Nauseous. hard. Like I I don't usually get motion sick, and on my stomach there's a little bit of a like it's a little off right now. Yeah. I don't feel I know how 100%. You feel. I, I have, have had the same problem myself. Um, should we take a call? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Before we take a call, we got 10 minutes. Let's run do down the charity stuff. We have uh, we got to do the changeover at 6 a.m. So it's time. Oh, that's right. It's time for another archive. Into the, in, entering the final quarter. The final quarter. The fourth and final quarter. I don't want to say it, but it's the final countdown. Do 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 do. Um, so I'm going to get the YouTube stuff ready to go. Wow, we're at 6 a.m. already. How did that happen? I feel like I could go another 48 hours. I'm feeling really good about this. We're going to talk to Bill Doran here in about an hour. Is he going to be here? No, no, no. We're fun. we're Skyping him uh, at 7 a.m. Okay. At 6 a.m. we can do the Lego build. Maybe take some calls while we're doing the Lego build. Um... I'm getting the live stream stuff ready to go for the I'm clearing off next the table. phase. That's oh yeah, we need good to clear call. off the, the garbage. Yeah, if on we the can, table, if yeah. you guys want to take a minute and do the garbage, I'll I'll talk about the charities for a minute, and uh, we can get going. We'll have to kill your mics so that we don't have to listen to the trash going. If you're just joining us at 6 a.m. Pacific time, 9 a.m. Eastern time, I'm jealous of you, a because you've seen the sun already, and that seems like a pretty cool thing right now. Uh, but we're doing this. This is Octobercast. It is our 24-hour podcast marathon where we podcast much much longer than we should in order to raise money for charities that we support and like the three charities we're supporting this year are child's play which is our traditional charity of choice for octobercast uh, child's play raises money and donation donates toys and games so that sick kids in children's hospitals around the world have games and toys to use uh, uh, during their convalescence uh, it's wonderful it's a wonderful charity because a lot of times kids in in hospitals are immune compromised and they have they can't, they can't share toys uh, because it, well uh, uh, you know the flu could kill them or something like that so or make them very very sick so uh, child's play makes sure that there is a constant stream of toys and video games coming into these systems a lot of kids walk out with a 3ds 
And I know uh, if you've ever spent any appreciable time in the hospital, what an amazing gift a uh, portable game console is. Because, you know, if you're seven years old, or if you're 35 years old, there's only so many books you can read. And sometimes it's just nice to play a little Mario. Um, so Child's Play is great. If you want to donate to them, go to tested.com slash kids. Our next charity is Doctors Without Borders. Doctors Without Borders uh, brings medical professionals to disaster areas, war zones, uh, places where it's difficult to get good medical care, where they can do work for the people who really need it most. Uh, doctors Without Borders, if you want to donate to them, the URL is tested.com slash doctors. And finally, uh, the final charity is Electronic Frontier Foundation. The EFF, you have heard of them because they protect freedoms online. Uh, they go out, uh, they fight battles in court, they fight uh, everything from uh, movie studios who are doing copyright uh, infringement. The guys, they, they fight the pornographers who are shame-suing people into settling. They fought the RIAA. Uh, they have fought patent trolls. They are fighting the NSA. Uh, they're going out and making sure that the stuff, the digital stuff we use in the internet remain free as those those tools were intended from the very beginning and and they're doing a lot of work for good and you know what the importance of the eff grows every year because we all carry one of these dumb things around and uh, i just held my iphone if you're listening to the podcast and and if we want to have freedom in the future we have to support uh, uh organizations like the eff to donate to them go to tested.com slash electrons uh crowd tilt uh kindly donated their services for octobercast this year uh, there we're, we're being charged 2.5%, which is the credit card transaction fee. Crowdtail has waived all of their fees. They're not making any money on this at all. Um, the, which means that last year we went through PayPal. More money is going to the charity than ever has before with Octobercast, which is great. You can put your credit card in. I believe it works pretty much everywhere in the world, at least in Europe and Canada and the United States. Uh, so, so that's Octobercast, uh, charities. We, I'm going to start the stream over here. Stream is starting. I'm going to restart the audio feed. Welcome. I don't have my glasses on. Welcome back to Octobercast, uh, our 24-hour podcast marathon for the kids. Uh, we have like th two, 3,000 people watching right now. I'm kind of surprised by that, but I'm into it. Um, we are into our 18th hour. This is the beginning of our 18th hour of podcasting. Oh, your mic's off still. Sorry. Gary's back. Yes. 18 hours seems like a long time to podcast. Does it feel like a long time? It doesn't seem or feel like a long time. It is a long time to be doing anything, really. To talk. Just talk. This is, what, I mean, this is your third year doing it, right? I yeah. Mean, for all of us. So yeah. we've got a lot of history to look back on. I know exactly what I'm getting into every year. Well, it's, I, I, what I was going to yeah. ask you was, like, what typically is the toughest stretch for you? Do you feel um, like you're over the hump or is the worst yet to come? Like, what's the uh, most the, difficult the part? The toughest time for me is always between the time that you think the sun should be up and the time the sun comes up. So, so right so now, now, I feel like the sun should be up. But it's going to be like another it's hour. It's going to be another hour, probably. I think I, think I can – I have an so app. It's not a period – Within the podcast, like not a, a, like a certain percentage. Well, it's, it's the time of day. Your mic's off. Oh, sorry, Norm. Last year, because we started at 6 p.m., um, hey, you know, <laughs> my phone is taunting me. Hey, guys, did you know that right now it would take me 25 minutes to drive home? I'm going to go and tell you. That sounds pretty good. Um, last year, the hardest time was in the wee hours. Uh, of 4 p.m. in the afternoon because we'd been up for like 40 hours at that point and the day ended Gary, Gary you had to punch out because you had a sick kid at home yes and um, I don't remember so much then, of the last two hours I was all I wanted to do was go home yeah as soon as the podcast was done and go to sleep yeah you got this but, but, the, but I ended up going home and I went to take my sick baby I'm not suggesting you got the easy end of the deal uh, and uh, had to drive her to the hospital on no sleep, and we were there in the emergency place for you know a good six or seven hours. Oh. So I didn't get to 